<laughs> Lee's tenders. Right. Welcome that's to another movie podcast episode. That's it. Thirty-two. That's the dumbest hat or beanie I've ever seen, Mala. You wanted it, man. Oh, he died. <laughs> You okay? I think he's gone. Uh, he died. He's All right, well, like, uh, that's a uh, non podcast. podcast. <laughs> that's, a, that's a series finale. <laughs> For Kyle, it is. Probably. <laughs> we avenged him and everything from last week. And now, look at this. We avenged him. Just him. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead again. <laughs> this boy can't stay alive. Come on, man. Fucking flip the goddamn phone over. There you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no. We, yeah, now you're, now you're, yeah. Turn your mic on. There you on. go. Turn hey, your mic on. Hey. I'm Adrian. Hey. That's Chris over there. Wave your hand. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, and then that's Kyle. The one I want to keep saying what's up, everybody with a dumbass beanie. In the... uh, you're, you're looking yeah. mad. Like, you're looking like a hobo. Yeah, that's what everyone says. Yeah, <laughs> there's a good reason why. You ever think that people are saying this because you look it, <laughs> not because they just want to be dicks? And they're looking out when for your well-being. When your parents are saying that, you know it's maybe. Yeah, we heard that too. Don't don't try to hide that they, they didn't even say that. We t- we never heard yeah. it. Yeah. Suck that glass dick. Yeah. Well, listen, that, never a podcast Gorka be out without someone vaping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did the other guy, the David, vape too? Yeah. He's you a vapor, just like you. Yeah, you two should fucking hang out. Yeah, probably. You both have, like, bland-ass backgrounds, too. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. you're a cool guy. All right. Do? Here, no, here. I'll put, a, I'll put a funny, funny... This is our weekly yeah, movie yeah, podcast. Yeah, funny. Yeah, let's see a funny. I want, I want to see a funny. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, record. <laughs> I can't even off. tell who that is. Fucking hilarious. This is our weekly movie podcast. We talk about all the new movies that came out that we watched, uh, news, and then sometimes box office stuff. Do we? I mean, yeah, well, we, we do. do. Pretty much do. Do we? Pretty much do. Yeah. Right? Oh, I got my tag book for the tags. Even though I don't put the tags, I only use this for me. This week, we're going to talk we? spoilers on Hellboy. Hellboy! We're going to bring up Hell the, yeah. uh, what's Disney service called? Disney Plus? Disney Plus. Okay. Seven bucks. There you go. We talked about it. It's and then I uh, got, obviously, the, the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker trailer, The Lion King. Hell yeah. And a couple other things. Hell yeah. Boy, play Lion play Boy. it fast and loose. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, yeah. man. That's all we do. We're loose. Loose goose. Um, Chris, since uh, you're actually going to be posting this, do you want to mention how the podcast is going to switch up the schedule-wise, at least? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, I don't know what day we're posting these. When, when, it's still Tuesdays, right? Or we just stick Tuesdays? Yeah. I guess Tuesday. I don't know if this one should go up earlier. No, so not. this one's still going to go up Tuesday. So our podcast posting day is still always going to be Tuesday. Uh, right. The only difference is we're going to make them probably shorter because we're recording these on Saturday for the next couple weeks. Right. Because uh, a little little show called Game of Thrones is coming out, and uh, that takes Ooh. up our, uh, our recording time. Kyle doesn't watch it, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Trash. Thank there you God. go. He said it. <laughs> there you go. He said it. So Sunday, no recording. Doesn't matter. They don't know we record this on Sunday, so I don't even know why we were mentioning it. Well, because we're going to be cutting a couple things, and then uh, no box, box office. office. That's it. <laughs> well, I mean, we're probably going to... The podcast is definitely not going to be two and a half hours if they're going at this rate. We'll see, though. We'll see how it goes. Anyway. We'll see. So we're just gonna jump right into Hellboy talk. So but that's, how much time we got? We're at Five hours. four fifteen. An hour fifteen? Four minutes yeah. fifteen seconds. Four minutes Whoa. fifteen seconds. Freaking crazy, bro. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, Hellboy. All right. Remember so Hellboy? let's let's give a quick one minute impression of what you thought of the movie. No spoilers. Okay, uh, Kyle, you go. All right, I'm going to actually so, time this out, so don't go too long. All right, so Hellboy uh, didn't look, wasn't looking forward to it. Uh, and when I saw it, I thought it was a fun B-movie, and that's what it was trying to be. I realized that's what it was trying to be, not trying to be uh, 
a superhero like uh, universe sort of thing that Marvel's doing. It's, it does something very different that most superhero movies don't do nowadays, and that's just like be kind of crappy, but also like uh, knowingly. And so that they they just go loose with a bunch of stupid shit. It, it's a fun movie. Like if you go in sure. thinking it's a B movie, you're gonna. I think you're probably gonna like it. Is Friday the Thirteenth good? No, but it's 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 fun. That okay. that's all I have to say. It's a B movie, not your conventional superhero movie. It's not great, but it's not even really good. I mean, there's problems with it, obviously, but it's a fun movie. Yeah. All right, all right. Cool. Chris, one minute. Yeah. All right, well, uh, it has probably all the problems that you would expect from a shitty, terrible movie. Um, but most terrible and horrible, god-awful movies out there aren't usually entertaining. But this one was. Wasn't good. It definitely wasn't. Uh, but if you can uh, if you can accept some really terrible special effects and some sloppy-ass editing... Uh, some terrible dialogue, some worthless side characters, and a bunch of other shit. Uh, and you can just enjoy some weird, dumb, over-the-top blood and gore and creatures, and you just sit there and enjoy that, then you're going to have a good time, because that's exactly what it is. It's just, it's just like, it's Hellboy going from place to place randomly at times, just like, oh, now he's here. I don't know why, he's just here. Um, and, oh, here's a, a witch. Oh, here's a trolls. Oh, here's this, here's that. And it's like, all right. I mean, I'm having a good time just watching all this shit happen. Uh, also, it has the Suicide Squad. All right. Problem where they, uh, no, I'm not done. Um, when, uh, when they just add about 500 songs to it just to make it more entertaining. Uh, so. All right. Yeah, that was a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was very strange that they were trying to do that. But anyway, God, especially towards the end where I was just like, this movie should be over by now. <laughs> I don't know why they keep going. But all right. Anyway. I had, I had no connection to Hellboy 1 and 2. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right. And I, heard oh, this, good. I, I was like Chris, where I, I saw the the nine percent Rotten Tomatoes. I was like, all right, this got more interesting than I thought it'd be. So I, I yeah. went in, I mean, I was... ordered my my. Uh, they had a sale on the on the flatbread pizza, and I was like, all right, let's let's do this. All right, fucking Could bad editing, bad, bad fight scenes, bad CGI, bad acting and dialogue. Fucking right, had no goddamn acting. no had no goddamn direction, and all the cool shit was in the trailer. Yeah. Add direction. It just felt like they cut about an hour and a half. I didn't know what the, the fuck movie, they were so doing. Like I didn't that. know. If it, it was obviously edited. We'll talk about it. That, that was my. Was that's, o- that's my dialogue on that. Yeah, it was obviously cut down. Like you, you can smell the like the scenes that the were feces. just like take, you can smell the feces. You can smell the scenes that were like ripped out of scenes, like parts of scenes ripped out of other scenes. It was just like I feel like that scene should have been longer, and they cut immediately like uh this person's talking it's just like oh they're about to explain something nope it's cut okay you gotta go to the next thing you know we're, we're hopping straight into spoilers so god yeah. god forbid you want to you want to not be spoiled <laughs> by hellboy please leave this this podcast well nobody's watching it anyway so That's, uh movie movie made like 25 bucks this weekend so yeah well yeah good. sadly Sa- yeah sad- sadly uh i think uh, a dog a dog's purpose to hellboy is out. done ninth place Hellboy is uh, done. Yeah, Hellboy is no, You know what? All right. I will say this. Hellboy is done for big screen, for sure. If anything could happen with Hellboy in the future, a it's cool Netflix tele- show. television. Yeah. Well, not Guillermo Netflix. del Toro produced. No. Aren't they DC? He's a DC property, technically, technically right? Because he's they, Dark Horse. But I thought DC owned him in some right. That's why he was no. in Justice 2. And, no, uh, I, they, just, they just got license rights to him. He's okay. not part of well, DC. Well, license rights. Okay, so they could use him if they want to. I was thinking maybe not put him in their universe, but just like do one of those shows that they're I doing. I see a Netflix know, like, show out of it. I don't know about Netflix. I, I would think like their DC universe thing or whatever, if they want to use him. They could easily. I mean, they used them before in DC stuff. So um, I, could, I could see that. Maybe a Netflix show. I don't see Netflix doing another superhero thing, though, after all the Marvel well, shit. I mean, that, that I don't know if that's necessarily their... their like, those were successful shows, right? Aside from Iron Fist being... At badly. first they were. I, they, I never... they, they dropped really hard later Did on. They? Especially like <laughs> especially like Iron Fist and... Performance-wise or quality-wise? Performance. Oh, I didn't know they were they, 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 oh, yeah. they weren't watching. Daredevil much. season three dropped like over fifty percent viewership compared to season two. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, that's canceled. So, which I heard is you know, it's a good I, season. I two think that's also it. probably to do that that they didn't have as much stake in the MCU as they should have. You know, where people didn't give a shit. If they actually had a a like if they had 
like an actual connection, you know, as opposed to like little right. Easter eggs or, or small little threads here or there. They probably like, yeah. I, like I know if that was if there was like a big reason for me to watch like mm. Luke Cage or something and to, to keep in with the other movie, that would have actually watch them. But I just never felt the need to. Well, those are great shows, though. You should definitely. Well, Iron I'll watch Fist them eventually, a, um, but don't watch Iron Fist. <laughs> right? No, I'll watch them eventually. I'm, I'm, I, I've heard good things about them. But anyway, yeah, anyway. speaking Hell of uh, of not good things, best movie of the year, hands down. This, this, All right, this, I want to get. You know what? Can we do the positives first? Yeah. All right, I'm not gonna talk. Go for it. But there's come on. <laughs> okay, there's here's no way. Here's, here's nothing. Here's, here's, here's the, the creature two, designs. The two were things. Really well the designs the two cool. things I'll say. Okay. Some of the creatures were good. There's some egregiously bad that's looking so, fucking motherfuckers in that movie. That's, well, that's like Baba Yaga looks like dope. Baba Yaga looked dope. Cool. Baba Yaga looked dope. The fucking yeah. hog that followed him around, they put all the money in those two motherfuckers. Ah. The uh I don't know about that. <laughs> um, There's times where he was a practical effect though. You can and tell. then uh the like, house the the house like the, the chicken house is cool. House? The chicken leg. That was well, so that's, cool. That's, that's, that's the whole thing about Baba Yaga. She's a she's a a witch with chicken legs. And they then, didn't uh, do that in this. She had just like peg legs, which was weird. But uh, and then, I, uh, I thought the those motherfuckers that like decapitated everyone at the end looked pretty dope. Yeah, but they, those are cool, but, man. Yeah, but good thing we only used them for two point five seconds in the movie. Yeah, but and I, then, I, uh, I got why. There's and, no way in hell this movie's gonna be made if it had a, also, any more of a budget. Well, first off, they should have put all the budget in that budget because those those were fucking dope. Um, the yeah, and sure. I'll say this one thing. I was already fucking annoyed and like grumpy. I was like, I, I wasted my goddamn time on this movie. The final fight scene, like the final one, like was like post after everything, or you, you thought the movie ended, but then it had that fight scene. That was a dope fight scene. Like, why sure. wasn't that like the fight scene? Start in my heart. Every other fight it. scene in this movie fucking sucked ass. Everything else, like I didn't understand what the fuck was going on with the editing. I was like, what the fuck? But like that that fight scene was dope. Yeah, it was one. It was the, supposed to be one shot, but it was obviously not. It was like, right, the, no, that was the great. one with the giants. That was like one smooth. Oh, I, I, shot. Yeah, that was really, I really cool. That, that was oh, really I like that one. I like that one because you know what? I will say that you said the acting's terrible, and I, I don't agree. I think uh, I, I think, think Harper, Hellboy was good. I thought he was great, and especially since he had like fucking you know, like two hundred pounds of makeup. I'll, I'll like, say this. I'll say this. I, David Harbor with great. with Hold David. Up. Well, I like David Harbor, but maybe it was this. Maybe it was that. I maybe his acting, whatever. The right. character Hellboy was fucking terrible in this movie. He was such a whiny motherfucker this entire movie. Yeah, I mean, not the entire movie. I can see the, what you mean, though. Like, the motherfucker... His, his dad told him at the end, stop whining. Yeah. Well, that's supposed to be his character arc, though. But I, I wouldn't say he was whiny to an extent. Was he really. whiny in Hellboy 1 and 2 like this? No, he was a completely different character in Hellboy yeah, 1 and 2. Yeah, he fucking whined. Hellboy was... 1 and 2, this, that's supposed to be him way older, though. This is supposed to be like him he's, younger. How old is he in this fucking movie? Because he's whining like a motherfucking He's a, literally a baby in one scene. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, well, he was in the original movie, too. Um, But, uh, yeah, which, by the way, that's the probably the worst effect in the entire movie. <laughs> when you see his cartoon face, I was like, come on. Anyway, like... well, you said positives. Go talk on positives. Yeah, okay. Um... I, I really like all the creature designs. I think all those were good. For a $50 million budget, like, when you compare it to some other movies, there's, there's movies out there that have no effect, and it just looks the worst, that costs more. This one, I feel like, you could say the special effects are bad, but they tried. They really There's did. a lot, a lot. Yeah, there, I was surprised by that, because I heard it was a $50 million Dude. budget before I got in there. I was like, everything in the trailer is the only spe- special effects in the movie, and there was a lot more. Right. I was actually surprised. Um, but but uh, the the beginning was egregiously bad looking. Oh yeah, oh, that, that, that set the tone and that pissed me off. Boy, I was like, oh, this is this is. I, fucking... I, lo- I love that shit because I was oh. it's it's trashy. You know, it, it didn't even it look like it's low B movie fucking levels of, thought, of bad. I think they were trying to do something with the black and white shit too, which or they tried to hide how bad white. it looked. They were doing some Avengers shit there it's, with black and white and red. Anyway, I keep I keep trying to I keep trying to test it. So go go do more. Yeah. Um, creature effects, I think, uh, when it comes down to some of the, I mean, it being rated R, that's just a thing to gloat about in the marketing, obviously. That's what they did last week with that trailer that came out. Um, the R rated one. But I do like that they didn't go over the top with some of the, uh, the language. Like, there's times where it does, obviously, like the first line of the movie is just like, uh, he says, like, for fucking good reason. Like, there's no reason to even have that. Uh, and there's a bird eating an eye, but like later on, it, it doesn't it doesn't dev- devolve into just like expletives. Like he's, he's not they're just not cursing randomly, you know. Which I've seen a lot of R-rated movies just do. There's that. There's a lot of blood though. There is a lot of blood, but you know what? I, I I do I they do take a break from the blood. 
uh, here sure. and there. It's not just second not action. just like over the top all the time. Like even during some action scenes, there's like hardly any blood at times. <laughs> there's other times where it just goes fucking crazy. By the way, did the, did the blood the blood looked horrible? Yeah, it was like cartoon. Uh, that's, that's the thing, man. With this fucking movie, it's so all over the place stylistically that like its aesthetic is mess. Like just a disgusting, like gross mess, yeah. and I liked it for that reason. I, I I enjoyed it because it just goes to a level of shittiness that I enjoy. <laughs> like when it's when a movie's boring, I, I thought that's it was boring. What, I I didn't think it was boring because it was. This movie kept, was not. It just boring. kept going. It just wouldn't stop. Fucking like not talking, but it just wouldn't stop. Period. It would be like talking. Uh, people are yelling. He, he, Hellboy just got transported to some other dimension where there's a witch with chicken legs. All right, he got teleported out of there. Now he's fighting trolls. I'm like, gee, hey, calm down. Now he's fighting a witch. Like, I mean, not witch. Uh, the Blood Queen, whatever her name is, N- Nimoy, or <laughs> Finding Nemo, whatever her name is. Um, it, it just it went. It just wouldn't stop, and, and I I like that about the movie. Uh, but I will say that there's there's obviously some problems that uh. I was even getting annoyed by it. Like, and not, not the whole two hours were just like fun B movie. There's times where it, it definitely, and we'll get to those when we talk about the negatives. Uh, one thing I did want to say though is, is the blood reminded me a lot of the blood from Blade. And yeah, just, yeah. seeing that made me happy. It's just, this movie's a lot like Blade. It's a lot like Blade, kind of. Blade, Blade was a fucking good movie. Blade had some puns, though. And Hellboy this threw that uh, puns. Like, uh, can I get a Uber or whatever? <laughs> it's so terrible. It's so <laughs> like, come on. Bad. Oh, it's it, horrible. It, it's gone past the point where it's bad, where I just cannot enjoy it. And like I, all I can think about is, is how it's shit it is. Cool. It's just gone st- so fucking far off the deep end that it's enjoyable to me. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's painful. Um, no, no. But there are there are moments where I I can't. There's I can't, a few things I can't just I can't just say like oh it was, I mean it was bad and fun it was just bad and period uh, especially a lot of the side characters uh, look at Adrian holy pretend, fuck pretending like he's mad about this fucking movie no, I didn't know I I oh, had more fun laughing I had the... more fun laughing at the fucking dumbassness of Serenity than I had with Hellboy. Well, yeah, Serenity's like a perfect. Serenity's hilarious. Movie. And, no, that was, and that was infinitely more fun than this fucking movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, hell and yeah. I fell yeah, asleep yeah, during, and I fell asleep surprised. during Serenity. Well, you fall asleep during fucking everything, so. <laughs> no, that that movie was so much more fun than this movie. This, there was nothing fucking. I, I, I wouldn't say. I will say that movie, the that movie that movie was only more entertaining because it had the fucking the mystery about the twist. This wasn't trying to pull any mystery. It was just, like, yeah, it was just fucking bad, egregiously bad. shit. Like all the fucking dialogue was ass. Like there was nothing like there was no character building whatsoever. It just assumes like you're gonna fucking deal with all this. And who the fuck is this girl realize... with the fu- who the fuck is this girl with the dreads? Why do I fucking give Fuck that she's Once like, oh. you realize none of that shit fucking matters, you realize it's just supposed to be a dumb fucking like it's it's fucking stupid. Yeah. Like it's don't no, even like, bother just, caring about the characters until they they focus on them too much. That's why I think there is it has to be a longer cut of this movie. Like because there's no it, way it, someone no, he, wrote dude, this. And, this movie could be three hours long and it's still not long mean, enough. No 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 I don't want it to be three hours. long. No I know I'm but I'm just, saying is this needs, this movie should have been like six fucking seven hours long with everything they try to shove in this fucking movie. Yeah. Sure, and and you know what? When I heard that was the case, I was expecting it to be much worse. When it, like I was expecting it to be Suicide Squad, where they just they just like here's all these characters, cram them all in, put them in a helicopter. Oh, we forgot one. Here's a katana, or oh, here's the the guy that can climb buildings or whatever. Like they just like forget shit, and they they don't do that. But it's just they do a lot of like oh, uh, here's this character, here's her backstory. Okay, here's this guy, here's his backstory. Like they they don't they don't make it natural when they pop up. Like it was just like Hellboy gets beaten by trolls. He falls down. A tr- van shows up. The girl pops up. You know Farts. why was she? Why the fuck was she there? I don't know. The shit with um, the hunt was so fucking lame too. And that was that was a lame build up to the to the to the giants fighting too. Oh, I like that. I, I like the chaos. Was kill cool. him. No, but there was no point when they were like trying to knock him out and they're like, okay, we're gonna kill Hellboy. We're gonna shock him in this water. Yeah. What the fuck? I think they were leaving him there for the trolls to but, eat him. No, they were trying to... Well, either way, what the fuck? No, they're, they're going to cut his head off. That, that's initially. the problem. Is like, Yeah, you guys could say, like, oh, it was so you, fast-paced that it didn't keep you bored. I was, It was so jarring and everything, I just did not know what the fuck was going on. And, and, and 
maybe it's partially because I'm so fucking neck deep into a post production class that I'm just looking at all the editing just in between every little corner. I'm like, this is fucking terrible. This is actual garbage. The way it's being edited. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I don't think all of it's badly edited, though. I there's, think there's, there's a lot some, of it that is. I'll give the movie this. There's, like, if if someone, if this was, like, the the rough draft cut and someone fucking good came in and just cherry-picked the really good spots and, like, redid it to, like, a whole different movie and, just like, started all over, there's, like, good moments that, that you can polish up to make good. Right. The problem was everything else is surrounded with, with so much ass to me that I just right. did not enjoy whatsoever. Sure, but there are good parts of it. Go ahead, Kyle. The boar guy was the funniest fucking thing ever. Ever. Well, he was it was so like one of the best fun. parts of the movie. Yeah, he, I, I liked him too. Yeah, okay, I, but I. But what what's so weird about him is that he kind of like you say whiny. I think he was the whiniest character in the movie because every time he showed it, he was just like, Fuck, "I need Hellboy." He beat me yeah, up. Yeah, but once, but so that but he, my milk he's not a like, badass though. It's some fucking lame ass boar. Like I don't give a fuck if he's like yeah, a whiny. It's, it's fucking know, Hellboy. But, but he shows. Yes. He's in the movie more than fucking what's her name is. I don't. And whenever I don't care, she shows though, but, up, but she's just look, like, "I need to throw bees at people or some shit." <laughs> Which that looked fucking <laughs> terrible. That looked fucking terrible. Yeah, oh, no, no, she, no, was, no. she was awful. I Are you talking story. about Sasha Lane? Because she was the worst no, part of the movie. No, Mia. No, no Mila Jovovich, I'm talking about. Yeah. She oh, no, okay. Sasha Lane was the worst part of the was movie. She the yeah, Sasha here? Lane was like, I, I know you like American Honey. I get it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. But, but I, don't, I don't get it after this movie. I'm, I'm bad with names. Who, who was that character? The British that's accent the, bitch. That's the black girl. Oh, okay. I thought they talking about the seer girl that looked like she was out of Game of Thrones. No. Which one? The seer girl that had like all the... Yeah. Well, oh, you mean the one that looked like she was out of um? Oh, what's that movie that just came out? Ah, oh, fuck. There was a movie that was in my head. I was just like, this girl's like straight from some movie. I know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, she she was ridiculous. Um, that and um, a lot of, I don't know. It, I, it, I I it, couldn't. This character's there just to tell Hellboy things. It's all himself. exposition characters. Like it's all exposition. Yeah. But and then yeah. and then the fucking dad like I I don't buy this fucking relationship that they have whatsoever. You guys try to force feed this relationship that does not make any sense. And then the the worst fucking CGI I've ever seen to fucking bring him back and let him talk. It looked so oh. fucking garbage. I was like, this is not even funny. Like, what the fuck are you doing? It was, uh, it was pretty funny. <laughs> it was funny because it, it was, was that bad. It was this floating. It was this floating head. This was like. They're on some shitty CG body that look nothing like his. You know why? Body, you know why it... though too is is because like on the flip side, Hellboy looked cool with the fucking flame. Oh yeah, he looked fucking. Yeah, so awesome. he looked cool, and then they cut to him, and it looked bad, and it was so jarring. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Well, I mean, and he's a practical effect. That's why he looks so yeah. sweet. And that's what builds like the chaotic <laughs> nature of this movie, though. It's not intentional, though. That's the thing. I think some of it is. I, I wouldn't say all of it. Is. I think at some point they they decided to throw the kitchen sink out the window. Just be like, fuck it, let's just throw every fucking thing into it. I think, you know what, and when I went back and looked at the trailers, I think we we should have, it was such a fucking obvious, like, when you you just look at the tones, at the beginning of trailer two, and all trailer one, it was like, oh, you could see that there was something terrible of this. I would say both of those trailers had the same tone. It was just one was rated R and one the beginning, wasn't. No, so they, the beginning of, of the trailer, too, where it was like a, a series before I went to the... Dun, 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 it, dun, it, was it? Like, it was like it was almost like a comedic yeah, it, like, it was, it was, narration. It was, relatively, it, was like, it was relatively serious until it got to that part. But like Not comedic, but it, it felt but, like it was supposed to be over the top with that seer talking like, oh, then, we then, found you. And then what the, what the fuck is the point of this movie? To bring back Hellboy? <laughs> no, 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 not, not like that. What's the plot? What's the plot? Oh, the plot is there's the a blood, bitch. The Blood Queen wants to come back and kill humans because humans kill the monsters, and she's the queen of monsters, or she likes monsters. Uh, but uh, monsters, uh, oh, oh no, not monsters. Humans killed her before she could do it. Uh, King Arthur with his Excalibur sword, which is magic and could kill demons. Uh, I guess in this. So I, I didn't actually. I didn't, do, do they do that in the original Hellboy movies? Because I don't remember that King Arthur shit. No, do, they did not. No, I don't. I was about to say I don't remember that. But that um, shit was weird. Yeah, it was weird. Anyway, the beginning stuff. Yeah, you cut her up. And then where's Hellboy coming in his plot? I don't know why they just smush her fucking head. 
<laughs> and then, but then where's Hellboy coming the plot? I'm just I, I know I've I've obviously know, but like I want to hear in your well. Words. He in the beginning he's he's going to Tijuana to get his boyfriend or something. Uh, he fights him in a luchador yeah. wrestling match, and he turns into yeah. a vampire, <laughs> and he impales him on the turnbuckle. Um, and then uh, I forgot what happens after that. What yeah. happens after that? Well, I'm not saying it's the most memorable movie. No, but I, uh, I, I'm no, saying he gets I don't... called in. He gets called in, but he's a part of the BRPD, the Bureau of Random Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> what is it I called? Don't know. I, Paranormal de- de- Detectives or something. I don't know. Anyway, the BPRD, the RPD or something. Raccoon RIPD. Police, Raccoon City Police Department. Um, the RPD. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Men in Black. Who gives a shit? Uh, they fight the bad guys, the the demons. Um, And the demons are bad and Hellboy has to stop them. But there's a prophecy about him because he's going to be the guy that shows up to bang Milo Jovovich. Didn't it suck that that was like one of the coolest things in the trailer where you saw him riding a dragon? No, no, no. When you, well, that too. But when you, (laughs) when you saw him riding a dragon in hell and that was literally a fucking vision for four seconds. Yeah, I figured it probably would be because they like from the trailers, it didn't even make any sense. Like, how how the fuck are they gonna get from there to this? Like, they might as well have. have to, they Hellboy might have to be the they, good guy. He's murdering humans. They in the trailer. might as fucking well have. Like, they could have at this point just fucking threw Hellboy in hell and made him ride a dragon. At this point, it was like, who the fuck cares? Like, at that point, who the fuck actually cares? I mean, they really. That's don't. what I'm saying. Is they, if they're gonna they, fucking sadly go, they didn't have the budget for it. If they're gonna go all the fucking didn't. in, go all fucking in and actually. Give a shit, but like it just felt like okay. Well, you, you still obviously want to keep some sort of coherentness to it. Yeah, but uh, that's what I'm saying though is that like they just didn't have the budget, so they couldn't do that. They, they don't do I'm Hellboy, sure they dude. Wanted, I'm don't sure do they Hellboy. To, what? Don't do Hellboy for fucking that much money if you if but you know it's gonna. Hellboy be like that. isn't even that though. They just wanted a, they wanted that little glimpse to show you what they could have done if they had more than five dollars yeah. to make right, this movie. But you yeah, get what I'm it, saying? It's is, a lot is, like Fantastic Four. Well, they needed something for the trailer, Adrian. But no, no, no. no. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, is why are, is why are they doing Hellboy with that amount of money? That's well, all they the, had. The last, two, the, last two, to. the last two had really small budgets too, yeah. compared to like Avengers and shit. That's for sure. Um, this one actually has the lowest budget of all three because it's an R-rated movie. For Hellboy, a character that hasn't been on screen in 11 years, so... No, I, I get... I, I'm not trying to say that. I understand why, obviously, they're not going to give them that much money to Hellboy. Why are you making a Hellboy movie, like you as a director and producer making a Hellboy movie, when you know that is not enough to cover that shit? I'm thinking they thought they were going to get a bigger budget, and then they didn't, so they realized, let's just go all fucking out. Let's just make a... Stupid fucking movie. I don't, I don't think they realized it from that point because there was obviously some, some clashing going on in that. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, for I heard, sure. I heard yeah, there was for clashing. Sure. Yeah, I, I heard like some weird shit. Like the director was told, you know, the tree in the movie that bleeds or whatever. Um, he was told to have that tree, like I think, mo- like moved so that the like the the weird part of the branches were moving to the right, but he wanted it to be moving to the left or something like that. He wanted the tree to look different. Uh, and the studio said, no, it has to look like this. And he was like, okay. And then after the movie was done, I think he told the people that were doing the effects, like, hey, have the tree the way I wanted it. So that's one thing I heard. There's other things like uh, uh, David Harbour walked off the set one time, and I'm wondering if that's after he already had the makeup on. Um because that would have been funny if, if he walked off set with Hellboy makeup on. Uh, I don't know why he walked off set, though. Uh, I heard a couple other problems, like the studio kept interfering um, during them filming and changing stuff while they're filming. Yeah, so it's that's weird. what I'm saying is I'm not I'm not I would not give them credit to say like they knew what was going on. I feel like this is just a fucking mishmash. No, I, I think the director happened. knew what he was doing. Is what I mean. Like the director has made movies like this before. He made a movie called Doomsday, which was not great, but it was this type of movie where it was like a B movie, just over the top, kind of like a Mad Max with, I think there were zombies and I don't remember, but uh, it was, it was like really over the top and really much, it was very much a B movie. Uh, and he's made some great horror movies. Like there's actually times in this movie. I wouldn't, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was scared or anything, but there's some good creepy moments in this movie. Um, that remind me of stuff like the descent. He directed that also dog soldiers. I don't know if you saw that. That was a good one. Um, he did of course a couple episodes of game of Thrones, some of the best ones. Um, yeah. And uh, it's just it's just weird because the director is really good, I think. Uh, and it's just he made weird a that, good movie, the the scent, right? Yeah, the, the scent. 
Yeah, the the descent, no, not the descendants. Uh, the, the the descent, right? The the descent, yeah. Yes. Which is great, great movie. Uh, and he made Dog Soldiers. That is technically a great movie. People, it's a B, <laughs> it's a B movie, but it's yeah, it's a great B movie. Um, and he would do so. Movies. Is this? It's a, I think it's a fun B movie. I enjoy. You literally it. just said at the beginning of this podcast, I would, it's not a great movie. I wouldn't even call it good. Yeah, I wouldn't call it's it a good B movie. It's not a good movie, movie right now. It's yeah, a good B movie. It has its own. It sh- I think it's, it's not being rated on its own. Not even a good you know, movie. Circumstances on its own terms. It's definitely not a good movie. If you want to film school, movie. if you want to film school, like analyze it, it's not a good movie. But no, the experience no, you get Eric. is what matters. And if you didn't like it, then that's totally fine. I had a good time with it. Yeah, you can hate it. It's all right. I don't give a fuck. And you know, like, look, <laughs> I'll keep... fight you for Hellboy. No, yeah, I know. Exactly. It's not. It's not like I'm the fucking outlier of like all these fucking no, people. No, not like we that. are. Like, go, go to Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I know. I want you guys to at least realize that that you I'm guys not are. I'm just gonna sit here and just immediately say it's horrible because everybody on Rotten Tomatoes. No, but I, want, I want you guys to realize at least that part. That what? That's bad. No, no, because Kyle, because Kyle says, oh yeah, if you want to analyze like a film student, but yeah, no, it's, it's the fucking. That's not, not how movie. human beings It's a, it's a bad movie, but you don't need to for Hellboy. Like, yeah, your guttural reaction makes more sense. And if you can't get over that stuff, and you know it doesn't work for you, then that, that's how it is. Just don't people with fuck guy like, care about this franchise have more prestige for this franchise and like say, oh, with this? Is well, I'm sure movie. the Del Toro movies are a lot better and are actually good, so that's why they are oh, better yeah. movies. The hell, the the Hellboy, Hellboy, and Hellboy: The Golden Army are fucking masterpieces compared to this fucking. Movie. Oh, exactly. I'm, surprised you're, not, I'm movies, surprised you're not more pissed off movies. that this movie is gonna kill Hellboy in I think the they fucking movie. Pissed off that Ron Perlman wasn't in a period, so they just they're, even Del if this Toro. movie even if this movie ended up being good, they would still hate it. No, I'm, 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 I'm saying is yeah, it's for you specifically because you have history with this franchise. Yeah, that you're not more upset and egregious about everything going on, knowing that this is what kills it. You're getting this, this and that's the end of it. You know, yeah, like I would, I would, I wouldn't say I would, and I and I respect it because you're you're looking at it more objectively. But like, if I gave right. a shit about a franchise and like I saw that come back to it and it just fucked everything over, I would be like so much more like from the heart, like fuck this movie, like that much sure. more about it. <laughs> but the thing is that if this wasn't made, then nothing would have been made. So even if this, which is there, bad, there was more, but you would live with the idea that it could potentially happen, right? Like, yeah. Now you and can't. Can now it. you're just done. <laughs> what? That, now that that idea is gone, like forever. So I what? already got forever. two good Hellboy movies. Like that seems good enough for me. Yeah, I, and well, no, but uh, <laughs> it it is. But we could we could have more, of course. But you know what? I look at it like this. You remember how Ghostbusters came out the 2016 one, and it sucked. It bombed. Nobody liked it. That's not true. There's some people, some crazy people, that liked it. Um, I didn't hate it. It was fine. Um. But then, of course, a couple of years later, they announced a real Ghostbusters movie, a third Ghostbusters movie. Right. Hellboy three. But they're yeah. gonna make a real one, baby. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro's got credit is, now. Is that, is that, that actual, is that your He's actual? Is that your actual? He's got that Oscar. Is that your actual argument, or are you just being funny? I'm I'm never funny. It's not <laughs> it's, That could happen. I don't know. I'm, I'm like half serious, half not. You know. It could happen. You never know. Especially with Gamble Del Toro now, after that Oscar. He could say, ah, screw it. I want to make another one, because he has a Spanish accent. Um, I want to make another Hellboy. That's kind of how he sounds. Um, and he does. And it would be awesome. But, but even... Oh. even, But here's the thing. is Even that Ghostbusters movie, like, it didn't even, like, do terrible, right? Like, No, it did. It didn't... It didn't, lost, like, $70 lost million. Dollars did, cri- and critically, <laughs> though, and critically, it wasn't... The, no, the, no, but the this movie's critics. not going to do that. And this movie's not going to do as bad as Ghostbusters because I'm sure this movie will do fine enough in foreign. Well, um, no. So when you're making that comparison, the way I'd say is Ghostbusters is still going to be a household name when it comes to movies. Hellboy, Hellboy has to live off this. Like Hellboy has this to go off of because no, sure. no one was dying to go back to Hellboy one and two outside of the fans. Right. Like there was, you're not gonna pull someone and say, "Hey, go back and watch Hellboy one and two. It's hard to do that. People are gonna do that with Ghostbusters because everyone knows Ghostbusters. So sure. Ghostbusters is sitting with there with what I'm looking at, 74% on Rotten Tomatoes is still like, all right, there's still some life in there because at least even though the movie did critic or not critically bad, but like financially bad, there's still yeah. some sort of like heartbeat in there. Hellboy is yeah, sitting at a whatever critics, percent though. right now. 
That's the thing. That's critics, though. You can you can say the same yeah. thing about I guess I guess Venom people won't like in a little while, but people really enjoyed Venom, so they'd probably go back to watch it. But again, did people right? actually yeah. enjoy Hellboy? Because remember that that was the only one I could compare right now that has Hellboy a horrible, has a horrible. Sorry. No, no, Hellboy is not getting good reviews from from audience. Sixty five percent on Hell on Hellboy. Yeah, it's not. It's gonna go down. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that <laughs> because it's it's not gonna be like I was actually surprised by my theater actually liking it. Uh, I only had about I liked 50 it people too. in there. But, uh, the people in my theater actually liked it, and they stayed for the credits to see any. Everyone, yeah, everyone left in mind. Why? Because they enjoyed it. Yeah, they, they know, I, they, they definitely did because everybody was laughing at stupid jokes and shit. Yeah. Um, I wasn't, but uh, <laughs> yeah, there's, I was laughing at all the stuff they weren't laughing at, uh, like the bad CG and the shit. The poor man. The poor man. The fucking <laughs> the poor man in the baby diaper. Holy fuck! That is the funniest shit. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I it's can't. Pretty, it is so funny. It's pretty care. funny. It's very scrappy dude from fucking. Scooby-Doo. Yes, it is. Especially yeah. in the big form, he's like the the main guy in the first Scooby Doo movie. Yeah, scrappy dude. Yeah, same CGI yeah. too. Yeah, scrappy dude. By the way. Yeah. He's the bad guy. Spoilers. The, you didn't see Scooby Doo the movie. <laughs> scrappy Doo's the bad guy. To be honest, Sorry. I I really do think the worst part of the movie was Sasha Lane. Uh, she just didn't know what the fuck she was doing. Like, yeah, it she sucks. Was- She's it garbage. really sucks. One thing I will say, though, American Honey. I, I did like, uh, what's his name? The Asian actor, Daniel, Daniel Day Kim. Kim. I thought he's... Oh, when he turns he's... into the tiger, holy shit. Man, it's like it's Altered cool. Beast. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's horrible. It's like Altered Beast PS2. It wasn't I even fucking I cool because like... he got his ass kicked immediately. Yeah, he got his He didn't even fucking do <laughs> cool shit. He fucking yeah, took he... that up, did a couple slices, fucking got knocked the fuck out, and that was it. It was like, that wasn't even fucking worth it. But it's cool. funny. I did. No, it wasn't even funny. It was like he got knocked out. Like that wasn't even cool. I don't know. Of, it, it, it's funny in retrospect. That, nothing got followed through to the point that it, <laughs> you it, see it, this big ass, like you see this big ass transformation, and then Ryan just gets smacked. <laughs> it wasn't even comedic though. That's what I'm saying. There was so much that nothing followed through with the beats to me. Like nothing followed through. If it if it would have been actually like that kind of funny, like comedic timing. I just fucking watched Into the Spider Verse again last night. The comedic sure. timing when you see the spider come in, do the whole like, oh, it's gonna fucking bite him, change his life forever. Just the whole. That's comedic yeah. timing. Not the whole the, fucking build they had to that. He fucking fights it for a little bit and then gets knocked out. There was a fucking beat sure. they missed there that didn't well, that didn't make it funny. I don't think I don't think me and Kyle. Was it funny on purpose? I don't think me and Kyle are saying it's up to Spider Verse level. No, <laughs> right? but that's what I'm saying. It's a comedic <laughs> timing. There was nothing funny about it to me. Sure, it was Spider Verse. It's, like, it's like a really star less. Timing. This it's one like was a star less. Than I'm not even saying this movie. Uh, Kyle's the one who's really saying that they really tried to make it. A B movie. I think I think yeah, you're, trying, I, you're, I just, you're giving them so much Kyle. A, it just it just was a B movie. That's what it felt like. They might not have tried to make it a B movie, but that's the best type of B movies are the ones where they try to make it a real movie and then end up being yeah. shitty and terrible. Yeah. That, those are my favorite types, not the that's, ones that try. The movies that are there's now times considered... where it's there's times where they obviously tried. I think the whole Bobby Yaga stuff, a lot of that yeah. stuff, as well like the kiss and all that shit, that was all like weird and. And even like the one Baba scene Yaga before we great. find out she's eating human kids, I was like, "That's fucked up." Yeah, no, that like, was, that stuff was cool. Like Bobby yeah, Yaga was actually no, that like, stuff was cool, but it was very, it was very much like they knew it was what kind of movie they were making there. Yeah. It was very much a B movie thing, you know. So yeah. and you wouldn't you wouldn't see that in Adventures. Uh, yeah, and you know, classic oh, B movies, children. classic B movies from the fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties. They didn't like try to make like a. Like a shitty movie right, that they no, didn't care I, about it. They, w- what happened was they thought they were making a good movie and it didn't work out. So right, no, because no, they got movie. that stuff now. You make a movie like Rubber, you know you're going in for a B movie. I get that. But oh, Rubber. Just, no, that's trying. No, that's just trying too hard that's to make saying. a B movie. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's not. That's not what Hellboy does. It's I know. Not, I'm not saying. Not that. Actively trying. No, to no, be Adrian wasn't trying. That's I'm literally Adrian agreeing with you. Adrian was saying that Rubber is trying too hard to be a b-movie right oh, okay hobo with a shotgun is trying to be a B-movie. yeah yeah great movie though yeah fantastic movie they, they nailed it but uh rubber i wouldn't say they nailed i, I thought rubber was a little too on the nose like oh it's a yeah tiger. It, it, it was it, then you watch it, it's really fucking boring. It, it took itself too seriously as a b-movie <laughs> now that's the thing rubber is boring hellboy is fun it, it had fun moments. I, I actually, I liked, I liked, I liked, I liked, I like, no, no, there's a lot of times where you just see a, a fucking tire roll. Like, I, I get it, it's alive. Uh, that was more interesting than fucking now. Hellboy dialogue. No. <laughs> it's, 
dialogue. There's like two dialogue scenes like that. that that's a focus, and those were definitely like some well, of the worst. I one of them was okay. I thought when Hellboy got pissed at his dad that one time, I thought that, that was fine. Like David Harbour did an okay job there. I was like, hey, it's not great, obviously. Nothing, nothing about this movie is great, but uh, it's, about it whatever. Great. It's it's about as subpar as possible. Whenever it's, it's schlock. Whenever, whenever it's at its best, it's subpar. It's schlock. But there are a lot of really terrible moments, like the baby scene you talk about, um, like the, <laughs> the last the last fight scene you talk about, like the yeah, last fight scene is dope, man. Yeah, the there, fight, there, no, um, <laughs> it's, it's and the suicide. sequel. It sequel. turns into Suicide Squad. Let's go kick some ass. And they play Kickstart My Heart or whatever fucking music they play. And they're, oh, look at them. They're shooting a bunch of faceless guys. Oh, the they watch Suicide so Squad. Cool. And they're like, this got an Oscar, so it has to be good. Uh, so they just copied it. The action you know, was I, great, though. Like, that's where it should have been. No. I sequel, would say I, 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 it was the fun. The action in that lo- – well, maybe – you know what? Maybe it was great comparison to, to the action yeah, earlier. Sure. That's probably what I was thinking of. But yeah. I, I thought – I actually enjoyed it. That last fight scene, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. And then yeah. the movie was done. It was like, thank God. extremely tacked on. It felt like. Oh, it was. It Months was. later, here's a fight scene. Just and, to and add that, more that stuff whole to the that whole ending because it, it looked like it was gonna end when they did the whole pan uh-huh. away, which and I felt like Ape I was like Sapien thing. Like, that was terrible. That's Ape Sa- yeah, Ape Sapien is a character from the last two movies, and he's like the best character in both of those movies. Um, played by the guy that played the fish guy in a uh, Shape of Water. Um, <laughs> it is. So it's funny that his tube looked exactly like like the Shape of Water tube from the movie. So, hey, it looked like the same tube from Hellboy. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, so that's why everybody's comparing oh, and it. The, uh, the water tube. mid credit scene was pretty cringe. Oh, yeah. Well, what, yeah. what was the post credit scene? Because I didn't know they had a post credit. I left. It was, it was, you know, that Lobster Johnson guy? No, I know that the, the mid credit, but I didn't know the post credit. Oh, I didn't see the end credit one. I don't know if there was one. I'm pretty sure it's mid credits. Yeah, the mid credits. Because Ward knows the post credit too, but okay. So that, I'm sure there was, but I didn't stay for that. Was that the graveyard? That was pretty bad. The graveyard is the mid credit one where it's Lobster Johnson. Thomas Hayden Church, he's just there. He's like, yeah. hey, Sig, Sig Hale or whatever. Like he said, Gudentog, that guy. You see, you see for like literally 10 seconds in the movie before that, and he just goes around shooting Nazis. You know, I mean, that was a fun moment. AJ, I, I have a serious question for you. Sure. Is this, is it, do you really think this is like top five worst comic book movies? No. But I, I, I couldn't top tell 10? you. I couldn't tell you specifically though, because I haven't watched enough comic book yeah, movies. Yeah, he to... hasn't watched a lot of the worst ones. No, it's definitely not top five. No. It's not even the worst like, comic book movie like this Catwoman, year. Uh, yeah, no, like I haven't seen movies. I haven't seen a lot of comic book movies here. I, I wouldn't even be able to honestly answer that. Fan four stick? Oh, no, no, no. You know, everybody was comparing it to Fan 4 Stick, but Fan 4 Stick was never fun. The entire no. movie is fucking boring. And you could say that this was boring, no, short. No, so, you know what? But what, compare it to that movie, that movie doesn't even try. Fantastic like, Four, yeah, no, that was worse, because that, that didn't have a redeeming quality. The yeah. only the only reason I would even give anything to Hellboy is, like, there's, like, some moments that I'm like, if you guys actually tried, <laughs> you guys would actually did pretty good there. Yeah, I think they did try it. I just don't think they had the I, resources. Yeah, I just think it's a polish issue. Because if, if this movie didn't like. try, it would look like Fantastic Four, where it had, like, no effects. It had a huge... No budget, direction, just people no di- bumbling around. Yeah, and, and a tacked-on ending, which I wouldn't say this movie felt like it had a tacked-on ending. It had a rushed ending, sure, but it didn't feel like... Literally, Fantastic Four, that movie ends with, like, we have to go to his planet. Five minutes later, they beat the enemy. Like, what the fuck? And, and, and two minutes before that, the enemy reveals himself. So about not even ten minutes, they reveal the enemy, they beat the enemy, and the movie ends. Like, this movie, at least you, you had uh, an entire movie with from that From the beginning. Enemy. Yeah, from the beginning. It starts off with the enemy. Yeah. It's like, it, it might not be a good enemy. No. Mila Jovovich might be fucking hamming it the fuck up like she usually does nowadays. But um, Mila Jovovich used to be a really good actress, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> now she just does this fucking trash. So it's damn shame. Yeah. Again, though, not even the worst comic no. book movie this year. <laughs> oh, it like definitely Marvel. was. He <laughs> didn't like that Marvel. All right. I, I, I definitely oh. think it's the worst one this year. It's, Did you see it's... Shazam? No, not yet. Hopefully, you like that one better. I think you like that one. Actually. If you if you I've won't, if you, I swear to God, if, if you like Hellboy more than fucking Shazam, you're not allowed to. Well, like I don't know. We'll going see. to. We'll see. No, no, we'll I see. I think you like Shazam. I think 
It I'm doesn't matter because it's definitely not going to be your style of movie. It's too campy and shit like that for you. It's too campy and too superhero y, but. He loves campy. Oh That's God. why he's saying he loves Hellboy because it's campy. Exactly! And I no, like fucking but, Sam like, Raimi's fucking movies a lot. The fuck you talking about? Don't like campy. The campy shit. See, yeah, the thing not, with Captain Marvel and this trash is that it does, yeah, it's not Marvel. anything. It's nothing. It's like NPC shit. Like, <laughs> the entire fucking movie. Like, blank face, the entire movie. Boring. That's see, that's a fucking bad movie. Does nothing. Does jack fucking shit. Fuck that, that movie. movie. Trash. I, I like that movie less and less more I think about it. Yeah. Um it sucks. And it's not because it has women in it. No. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, 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 I did about Captain Marvel is still definitely better than Thor two. Uh, and, and even Iron Man two. But why, wow, you like Thor two? <laughs> so, they're all the fun they all just blend together now. I don't care. Some of them do. Thanks, I'll give you man. that. I'll give you that. Some of them do. Not all of them, though. Ant Man and the Wasp. Like, just remember that? Yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> he has a he, 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 he cut his head off and put it by. Yeah, him see, it. Let's out. just make the exact same movie again. Yeah. <laughs> Can't argue. I mean, it's not exactly the same. It's not a heist movie this time. Yeah, it is. Are you fucking it's serious? Not- does it end with a heist they don't. They don't have like an Ocean's Thirteen like plot to get something. No, yeah, that's that's the heist part where they had all, all the people work together to rob the guy. Right, but they're still like we have to get something, and then people are gonna chase us and all that shit. Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> they're gonna get something. Well, it's a heist movie. Not, like, no, I, we gotta get something. That's a heist movie. <laughs> I got. Hey, I'll go get a bottle of water. I guess that's gonna be a heist story. <laughs> <right now. laughs> Let me retell you my heist. Uh, Anyways, I got something. I I only think you like Hellboy more because it it intrigued you more. It definitely did. I got and that doesn't mean anything to me. I think it was a a fun B movie. How many times are we gonna say B movie in this? It constantly made me think about what they were trying to do. I wish you just stopped there. It it constantly made me think. It's a thinking (laughs) man movie. (laughs) It made me think of how much longer I have of this movie. That's for sure. Yeah, I. That's one thing I'll say. If this movie is ninety minutes long, perfect. Cut out yeah, all. Let's cut, let's cut out movie, more. Fuck it. Let's just cut, cut it. Cut out more movie, shit. No, I'm ta- I, I, No, yeah, no. I'm serious. If they made it made less sense and made it really short, was, I'd be done. You know what? Fucking the most egregious thing about. No, no, hold up. The most what? the fucking lamest shit about this movie. It should have been a seven hour movie. There's still fluff in this fucking movie, dude. There's still some garbage shit that we do not need. Why is why does the fucking girl get killed by the neck? They go down there and fucking oh you that need was, to grab this sword. They could have saved that for the fucking yeah. end. Oh, they that was I, didn't even, I didn't even get that because the girl the 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 one witch that was working with Mila Jovovich that betrayed her told them to go to Merlin. <laughs> why she told them to go to Merlin? I don't I get I just to get the thing out I guess I I, I whatever but. When they go to Merlin, Merlin's like, the prophecy, grab the sword. He's <laughs> like, uh, nah. And then he grabs the sword anyway, like, uh, five minutes later. I was just like, I don't... See, like, that, that, that's fluff for this fucking movie. That, that, not, it, that, it's not fluff. There that, should that, have been There's fluff. literally no reason for that, that scene. Just avoid avoid killing her. Just have her get away. Avoid killing her. Then walk, when you get to the fucking point where the, the sword, grab the sword, you see the prophecy, done. I would have, I would, that would have made sense if they did some romance thing there, like, because they had a romance in the first Hellboy between Hellboy and a, and a, and Selma Blair's character, uh, a pyrotechnic. I, I think you like the first Hellboy movie. Oh, right? sure I love really it. Good. That's gonna make me upset more. That's gonna make me. Yeah, oh, yeah. More upset. no, definitely, definitely. So I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna like wait. Movies, those movies have almost no special effects, and most of it's like practical. Yeah, shit, so, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a year so I can fucking get this out of my head and. No, it, right, it, I should probably wait a week because I'll probably forget about it by then. Yeah, yeah you'll <laughs> forget about. It. Anyway, no, just the Merlin seems just like they go to Merlin to take a thing out. Like they couldn't write anybody else that could take that thing. It had it had to be Merlin. Um, it had to be Merlin, a dead Merlin that's been chilling there for thousands yeah, of years. Yeah, oh, that's so fucking. Uh, he dumb. wakes up. He's just like, oh, I'm awake. Are you Jesus? He's like, no. Nah. Uh, and he's like, grab the sword. Prophecy. Okay, I'm dead now. And Merlin dies. He's like, oh. what? I guess Merlin just knew that was gonna. I don't know. Fucking, it's just, it's so quick. Like everything I just said, all that stuff was like four minutes of the movie. I'd rather watch Brie Larson stare at me for five minutes than ever see this movie ever again. Oh no, I would love to see that scene with Merlin before I watch anything involving Captain Marvel again. Uh, I'm, just kidding. Both <laughs> I'm just kidding. Two different I'm just kidding. All right, we're, do- we're done with this. Fuck movie. Avengers. <laughs>
God bless you. Yeah. Good fucking go, movie. Uh, go see there. Hellboy. Support Go it. see Hellboy. Fun Great time. movie. Don't listen to Adrian. Fun it's time. Great. Ten out of ten. Uh, yeah, wait, can't wait for Oscar. Hellboy two. No, I'm sure that's gonna. Uh, there's a good reason that's never gonna happen. You know what? Be a cult classic. Say, uh, one last positive, like a legit positive. I thought the makeup was good. Yeah. The makeup. Hellboy looked good. I don't know. Man. Yeah, I thought Bobby Yaga looked good too. She was a practical effect, and, and that girl doing like the chicken leg walk and stuff, and also <laughs> her having the big tits was like. And Howl's I, Moving Castle, like come on. Yeah, Howl's Moving Chicken Leg Castle. <laughs> yeah, worth it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Anyway, the movie. Was like, you can tell Adrian doesn't like that we like I, this movie. No, I fucking hate this movie. I really, I genuinely hated this movie. Hates. Mm-hmm. It, it's definitely my the least favorite movie I watched this year for hundred really? percent. Yeah. Really. No contest. Well, you didn't see Polar. Yeah, I'll watch Polar. polar. Like, it's gonna be hard to fucking. Oh, top Polar's this movie. way worse. If you say Polar's better, I'll fucking I, kill you. I will. You <laughs> know what? I'll watch polar? it. I'll watch it sometime in the next couple weeks. And I, I, I'll polar, I'll promise okay. you, with how much I genuinely hate this movie, I might like that more. I, ju- I don't. I, I, I don't, genuinely don't, hate Hellboy, dude. I genuinely I hate this movie. Hellboy. <laughs> Adrian doesn't know how to have fun. There was nothing fun about this, dude. That was legit the the worst waste of time I spent with that movie. <laughs> I, you know yeah. what? I'd rather watch Jets of a Fucking Nation before I watch this again, no, you dude. Wouldn't. I genuinely no. would. Because at least that was fucking hilariously fucking. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to sit through that again. No, oh, I wait, genuinely what? don't like anything that went on with this. It was fucking what? dumb. The fucking dialogue was terrible. The editing was terrible. Everything. There was no fucking direction. One, th- one thing, there's a connection. Both of them have Nazis in it. Oh! Go. Oh! The Nazi 3D go- the like goggles? What Amazing. Is- I well, mean, you, you hate this on. movie? What the fuck? See, See that, the, that's you, when I knew this movie was they fucking got, stupid. They got a the guy to read a book to summon Hellboy out of hell while he was wearing 3D glasses. And they then he gets a, killed they by they a swastika give a flying on it. Fuck, dude. Okay. Yeah. You're the swastika eye. And you're, and you're seriously going to say they didn't think he was fucking stupid and they didn't go with that. It was stupid. And then, and then a guy yeah, named, they knew it. A guy no. named Lobster Johnson burns a fucking mark into his brain. I, 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 I don't... Movie. I don't like this movie at all. It's for thir- it was made for thirteen year old boys and nobody else. I say and, that because uh, he's just gonna say that's why we liked it. Exactly. <laughs> well, you know what? I also, you know, like, I, I also am dumb. I like smart movies too. So you know what? There's there's room for both. What I don't have room for is boring sh- shit that was made by a conveyor belt. That's what I don't have time for. It was made by a conveyor belt. I don't know if you know how the factories work. Very well, so the like. movie's conveyor. It, it doesn't matter if the fucking concept of everything that happened behind it was fucking interesting to you. Like I don't, Yo, I don't but, give a fuck about any of that. But I don't care that, about that, thinking that about like, man, look at how terrible this it was. Completely this translates to the screen and what's going on. Dude, the father-son relationship. The the worst fucking Here. father-son relationship I've seen. No, Ian McShane was great. Tear it down my. When he died, I was like, oh no, she flicked blood no, out. No, I. No, I. But the blood. It was nothing fun about this. Like there you was, see that guy? Yeah, there was a couple stuff. things I can appreciate in here, and it, it, yeah. and it just felt like I should. I should. It's watching any of the trailers made it worse for me because it was like, it, they they made it sound like oh like it's so fucking like slime bally too to have like that R rated sizzle reel so unnecessary too because that's literally everything, literally everything no. that had to do no. with fucking no, no, literally everything. everything. Just yeah, everything including. It, it, it I didn't see the boar man. I didn't see the boar man. The trailer. The boar man's in one of the trailers. I don't. I didn't remember him. Yeah, he was in the one. I, I cannot stress enough how much of a surprise he was and how gleeful I was. Fucking loves that boar man. I, I like him too. Because they look alike. That's why. He was. He was, he was like the fuck. biggest bitch. You don't think he remind? Yeah, he was the biggest bitch. I know why you like him now. But um, no, I want. I do want to say this though. You remind me of like Bebop from uh, yeah, or yeah. is it Rocksteady? Which one's the the pig man? Rocksteady's the rhino. So Bebop. He's a Bebop. Yeah, Bebop. You remind me of Bebop. And he did look like he belonged in that last Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. So, and that movie, that being so cartoony looking, made how sense long was this fucking movie. movie? I like this movie. Anyway, how, go how see long? Hellboy. It, it's making all the bucks. Or go see Little. I guess. <laughs> that movie's making more money. Anyway, yeah. let's talk about uh. Three hours, wait, yeah. how how long That's was right. that? Three hours. <laughs> Fifty. We're at fifty-four minutes now. Okay. Jeez. That's what are we talking about now? Missing Link? That's it. We're done. All right. So that's shit. the episode. Uh, Hellboy, go check never it out talk tomorrow. About movie ever again. Piss, pissing Link? All right. Pissing Link? No, we're not talking about Missing Link. Now that we're done with that garbage. All right. What did you guys watch this week besides Hellboy? 
Oh, well, they were doing trailers. Well, we're gonna get yeah. to that. That's, that's not, I that's didn't not watch anything watched. besides Hellboy. Really? Unfortunate. Okay. Really? I I saw a few movies. Oh, I God. saw I saw the Beach Bum again, and I oh, still okay. really like that movie. Yeah. Uh, I saw the original Pet Cemetery, and uh, I realized I liked it more than the uh, than the new one. I was reading a yeah. uh, article that ranked all oh, the Stephen King movie adaptations, and they put uh-huh. those they they put those next to each other on the list, saying they're pretty much they're very people. similar. Yeah, they are. That's, but I mean, that, but until, until the twist. Or what I will say twist. is that this upset me was uh like it was it ranked like I think out of thirty eight movies or something like that. On like the low end of like it was like in still in the thirties, I think like the the fourth or fifth worst Stephen King movie they said was nineteen twenty two. Oh uh, that one's a great I was one. like, Yeah, I liked it a lot. <laughs> Did you see that one? Mystery's a good one. Misery, Misery was, was, on, one was near the top. Misery yeah. was probably top ten. Yeah. 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 Did you see nineteen twenty two, Kyle? That no, was a really good. Cool Nope. It's a Netflix one. It's good. Gerald's, Gerald's game was good. Yeah, Gerald's game was great. I thought that was probably top ten, right? Um, uh, I don't think so. What the fuck was in the top ten? Hold on, no, go to that. Uh, the the, the, the shinny. Uh, the the sh- yeah, that, that was number that was number one. Carrie. Yeah, of course it is. It, it's not even really fair to do because it's so different from the book from, uh, from what everybody says. I'm I sure Carrie the- is on there. Carrie. How about Christine? All right, let's let's uh, we'll play this sure. game. We'll we'll we'll, di- we'll divert sure. and play a game here. Yeah, fuck everything else. Uh, who uh, cares? Yeah, because I need some fight. goddamn fun in my life right now. All right, so Stephen King trivia. Let's go. All right, so this Gork- is will replace Gork- the game for today. Actually, no, Gork- I actually have a game set up for you guys. Wait, what? I have a game set up for you guys. Oh, okay. Really? All right, okay. it won't replace the game. Uh, let's see. If this is the fucking right thing or not. Oh, can, I, no. can I just quickly say the other two movies I saw before I do this? Sure. No! Shut your mouth. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. I saw High Life. Great fucking movie. I really want to see that. It's yeah. so fucking good. Great, great slow burn sci-fi. Fantastic. I also saw uh, The Man Who Killed Don Quixote, which is the Terry Gilliam movie. I wanted to see that, but the day that it was out here, it was uh, I was busy. Yeah. So. Uh, like... 20 years in the making or whatever, and um, Adam mm-hmm. Driver's really good in it. It just, it just fucking slogs, man. It was it's kind of a bummer. Yeah, and it's not very, like, fantastical, because Terry Gilliam, he made, like, Time Bandits and Brazil <laughs> and all these, like, super fantastical, imaginative movies, and this one was, yeah, like, it, it was likable, but... Uh, it just it just kept going for no reason. It's like two and a half hours, and it w- did not need to be that long. What, uh, which is the one for that had Heath Ledger in it before he died? Oh, it was like his last Brothers role. Grimm. No, 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 no. That's not. Was that Terry Gilliam? Yeah. Holy shit! I didn't realize. I've seen, I saw that movie like five times when I was younger. <laughs> I, I used to. I love that movie. I don't know why. When I was like fifteen or whatever. I, I watched that a lot. I uh, that was that... Terry Gilliam. The Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. Parnassus. Yes, that's the, that was Heath Ledger's final role. They had to, that's when they had to bring Colin Farrell, Johnny Depp, and somebody else to like play him in different versions, like different versions of him and what stuff, just fuck? to make it. Yeah, it was weird because like it, the the movie is very much a Terry Gilliam one. So whenever they go into like the dream world or whatever, uh, his character when he goes in the dream world, it, it's a different actor portraying him. That was because they couldn't film. I mean, they didn't get uh, all of his uh stuff filmed before he died so they had to i guess rewrite that part so they just like got johnny depp colin farrell i forgot who the other one was colin firth no it was somebody else anyway he's still looking christopher this. Plummer. yeah I'm, i no, can't find like this andrew garfield uh no andrew garfield was like the just the kid in that movie he's craig like frisher michael bean no no, no michael bean <laughs> yeah he's michael bean the- yeah, Michael Bean, seven-year-old Michael Bean playing Heath Ledger. Vern Troyer. <laughs> yeah, it was Vern Troyer. <laughs> Rest in peace. I forgot Vern, Vern Troyer is dead. Yeah, that Fuck. sucks. That sucks. So that, that's what I saw this week. I'm trying and, to find uh, a specific list. I can't find the actual list I found, so I might just pull up a different list, and we'll just go from there. See High Life when you can. It is uh, yeah, I do want to see it. It's not out here yet. And Robert Pattinson is fantastic. I did. Robert uh, Pattinson has just like, killed it. Yeah. I watched a classic or a, a cult hit movie. I don't know if it's a cult. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's like one of the bigger movies. Um, for the first time this week, I watched uh, Pulp Fiction for the first time. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's like the biggest one. Yeah, that's like a classic. I wasn't sure what to classify that as, but uh. No, no, that's a classic straight up. That was great. I, I'm pretty sure that movie did extremely well when it came out. Cult classics are more like probably the that biggest. Didn't do well that gained the cult, obviously. Dude, but, uh, it's probably the biggest like cultural movie of the '90s, like to next to like The Matrix and stuff. Like, yeah, it, it's, it's a big fucking movie. It's one of the most parody movies, I think, too. Yeah, it's a cor- it was fucking yeah, huge. Say what again? I dare you. I double dog dare yeah, you. Right, right, right. Yeah, that was great. And very, then, very iconic. Yeah, it's, it's, a great, it's a great movie. Bruce Willis killing him when the toast pops out. <laughs> I like the Simpsons parody. And I, I love the, how, how like Quentin Tarantino structures his movies. I really do. Like Especially that movie where, like, you have to like piece it together, like when it's taking place. Like, oh, this is right before right. the Bruce Willis scene. Where he, I don't want to spoil. There it, was a uh, I watched that and I watched Jackie Brown a few weeks ago too, for the first time. Jackie Brown is the best movie. Oh, yeah, wow. that's probably my second favorite. It's the it's uh, his most reserved, like it's the least Tarantino esque. I need to see that movie again. I was because it's, uh, it's a film class. I've been watching all those, but uh, this next week was it? On Monday we're watching Children of Men. Oh, okay. I think we watched. Well, yeah, that's the second time I had to watch the movie, that movie in school, which is great. And then uh, last week we watched Get Out. Get in. Anyway, I can't find this list, so uh, we're right, well, get list. List that talking well, about. I pull up a different list that was made the exact same time that has both Pet Cemeteries in it. Okay. But it wasn't the exact same order, so we'll see what this one is. What do you think is his worst movie? Who? Stephen King. So this is all Stephen King movies. Cujo's really bad. No, Cujo's not. What's the no, worst? We're at, we're at number 45. Maximum Overdrive. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, did I know it? Yep. <laughs> well, that's okay, not even guys... based on a book, is it? It's uh, No, is it? No, uh, it, it's, he, it's, just, it's just, he, just, he just made it, right? Yeah. He, remember the ads only... for that movie? Yeah, he was on cocaine. Well, like yeah, you're yeah, you, you like, that, which is great. <laughs> this is like you'll be like the craziest movie ever, and you're gonna get a fucking rib job and shit. It's fucking crazy. All oh, right. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> it's, I don't know if I want the rim job, but I'll take it. Yeah, take that off. movie is really bad. Oh, the Dark Tower has to be like super low. Though. Oh yeah, that's before. All right, we're at number forty-four now. I'm gonna give you guys each one guess, and I'll just tell you it. That way, we don't spend too long on it. Okay. okay. Dark Tower. No. Uh. The... Christine. S- Secret Window? Heart of Atlantis. Is that, se- is that fucking Heart in Atlantis. Okay. Dude, are, are these counting the Children of the Corn sequels? I don't know. I, I haven't no. looked at this list. So we're just going There's like it. 25 of those, so I don't think so. All right. 43. Yeah. Uh, J- Gerald Game. The Gary Remake. The Mangler. Oh, uh, okay. With Robert England? Uh, is that with Robert England? Yeah, yeah, it is. That, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. I never saw it. Forty-two. Firestarter. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, uh Christine. No one's Cadillac. Have no idea. Some fucking random ass movie. Next, next one, Dark Tower. Uh, no. What the fuck? Carrie. There's no way these movies are worse than Dark Tower. Secret Window. Oh, Secret Window is way better than fucking Dark Tower. All right, Secret Window sucks dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that twist is so fucking obvious in that movie. Number forty. I forgot Secret Window Dark was Tower. based on. I forgot. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I forgot Secret Window was based on a. Yeah, it was. a Stephen King. Movie. Yeah. Um, it's not Dark Tower. Uh, Christine. Running Man. A Good Marriage. Okay. Thirty-nine. Sixty-nine. Uh, Dark Tower. No. Cujo. What the fuck? Apt April, or apt pupil. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, thirty-eight. Dark Tower. No. Christine. Children of the Corn. Oh damn! Okay. The first one. Yeah. Children of the Corn is way better than Dark Tower. What the fuck is Dark Tower on this list? Thirty-seven. Dark Tower. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Ger- Gerald's game. Thirty-six. Play. I'm feeling they're gonna put Gerald's game low. Running low. Man. 1922. Graveyard Shift. Okay. Yeah. 35. I never saw it. The Carrie remake. No. I wonder, if, I wonder if they'll count that. I guess they would, right? <laughs> Why wouldn't they? But, uh, 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 uh Gerald's game. Thinner. <laughs> thinner? thinner. Oh. Yeah, Thinner. 34. I can't, do it. I can't roll my, uh, Dreamcatcher. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh wow, that's a good one. Yeah, Dreamcatcher. That's a now. If we talk about a movie that's straight up a B movie and hilarious, that's it's Dreamcatcher. Was it really Dreamcatcher? Yeah, it was Dreamcatcher. He said, "Oh my god, Dreamcatcher is horrible." That's why, that's why Kyle has, has Hand of the Mouse. I don't even want to tell you what the fucking enemy. I'm of that looking movie. on Letterbox and I'm just picking movies that he wrote. I uh, don't look that. I'm not even. Do, I'm not doing. I don't that. fucking know his movies. Like I don't know him. a lot of his movies either because his fucking movies are shit. All right, <laughs> thirty-three. Creepshow uh, two. No. Creepshow three. They were no, Silver no. Bullet. It would oh. definitely not be Creepshow two because he wrote 32. it. Thirty-two. Did he write that? Yeah. Running okay. Man. No. Uh, 1922. 1408. Ah, oh, 1408 is pretty good. 31. Firestarter. No. Christine. Riding the Bullet. I have no idea. Okay, 30. Fire. Uh, Pet, Pet Cemetery. Creep Show 2. Oh, shit. There you go. 29. Firestarter. Uh, no. Christine. The lawnmower Man. Okay. Oh. 28. Oh, yeah, Lawnmower Man's fun. 28? Uh, Firestarter. No. <laughs> Firestarter 2. Salem's Lot. Oh, oh that's a good It's uh, Mercy. Mercy? Okay. Mercy on call. Okay, 27. Gerald's Game. Nope. Salem's Lot. Na- Sell. What? Sell. Oh, Cell. Okay, yeah. That okay, was bad. 26. Sleepwalkers. Yep. Oh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> He's just looking at a list, though. I can't remember all these fucking movies. Fuck, Sleepwalkers? Fuck all right, them. 25. Pet Cemetery. No. The Pet Cemetery 2. No, what do you say, Kyle? Running Man. Tales from the Dark Side. Oh, no. really? He did yeah. that? 24. I think you wrote one of the stories. Anyways, he didn't do Pet Cemetery 2. I know. 24. Silver Bullet. G- Gerald's Game. Carrie. The Carrie? Re- which one? 2013. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That should right. be way lower. 23. Firestarter. No. <laughs> Gerald's Game. <laughs> Cat's Eye. Cat's Eye. Ah, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. All right, 22. How about Cat's Eye? I I've gotten two of these so far. So. Yeah, of course. You're looking at a list, though. I'm not I, looking I can at only remember list. four fucking movies. Firestarter. No. Uh, 1922. The Dark Half. What? what? The Dark Cat? Fuck the Dark off. Half. I don't care. <laughs> Go to the next one. 21. 1922. No. Cujo. No, Pet Cemetery. 2019. Fuck! Which oh, 2019. one? 2019. 2019. Really? All right, number okay. 20. Pet Cemetery. No. Original. Firestarter. Firestarter. Needful Things. What the fuck okay. is that? It's a know. movie. 19. Who uh, Firestarter. The Running Man. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I wanted to get that one. <laughs> 18. Firestarter. Firestarter. Yeah. I said it first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, uh, 17. 1922. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, which one? I got two. <laughs> which one? 1922. Oh. Gerald's uh, Game. All right, all right, 16. Cujo. It. it. What would you say, Kyle? Cujo. Yeah. I said that first. Yeah, yeah, no, you know. <laughs> yeah, no. Three, 15. baby, three. Well, fuck you, boy. I don't have a list. I have two. Uh, no, I got no, two no, 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 you, you have three because you guys have the maximum overdrive. Oh, yeah. That's, That's right. 3 Fuck you. 11-22-63. Right, hey, hey, no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Then who got Dark Tower? That was me, too. Oh, shit, Kyle. You said wait, I no, no, no. I'm pretty no, sure you didn't get, no, you didn't get it on the right one. Oh. All right, all right. No, because no, you, you guys three. kept saying... No, because someone kept saying Dark Tower the entire time. I kept yeah, saying Dark Tower. Get... We both kept saying Dark Tower. All right, like, you, guys, you guys both have four like, points. You, Fuck it. We're both three and three, all right? Four. Three. Four. And we got four. Okay, Whatever. number 15. It, like, it fucking matters. It's still tied. 15. Cujo. You said Cujo, idiot. No, he can't guess again, though. All right, you know what? We're going to alternate to make it more fair. All right, fine. Okay, he, you already said Cujo. You can't say anything. Okay. He said it, right? Yeah. All right, yeah, shut it. the fuck up. Uh, uh, Gerald's Even though we game. just answered Cujo, but whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Core. Gerald's game. Dolores Clay. Clay. Uh, Calborn. Calborn? Is that Calborn? I don't Claiborne. know. 
I, I, I know the movie. I don't right. I've never seen it. Gore, fourteen. Claymore or something. <laughs> Gerald's game? No. Kyle. It's it's the show miniseries. No. It the show. Christine. It the sh- I keep saying Christine. Alright. Thirteen. Kyle. Can we just do thirteen? No, that was fourteen. Oh. Uh Hmm. Salem's Lot. No. He's a dirtbag. He keeps looking at his fucking list. I have no list. I just have to remember. <laughs> You're a movie Gerald's god, so if I could act like one. Gerald's Game. The Night Flyer. Okay. Number 12, Gore. I don't want to keep saying Gerald's Game, but I want to say other things, too. But I know I'm going to miss Gerald's game if I don't say it. <laughs> Gerald's game. Nope. Kyle. Oh, the the Dead Zone. No, The Green Mile. Oh, really? Oh, fuck! Oh. Okay, Kyle, okay. number 11. Um, I'm going to go with Salem's Lot. No. Really? Or Gerald's game? No. Creep Show. Fuck! Oh, that's too low. That's too really low, great. Yeah. Well, I mean, there okay. are a few. I, I'm remembering a couple now. Green Mile should be higher, too. I love them. Yeah, right. that too. Chris, number 10. Gerald's Game? No. Dead Zone. Fuck you. No, go back. I want to, Pet Cemetery. Oh, the original? Nah, that should be that high. Yeah, All right, yeah. Kyle, number not nine. Green Mile, get the fuck out of here. Anyway, number nine. Uh, the Dead Zone. No. Chris. Gerald's Game? It. 2017. Which one? Uh, 2017. Is the is the miniseries there? Uh, you can't tell us. I don't think so. I don't know though. Yeah. I haven't looked at that. I, this, 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 I'm, I'm scrolling through this list on my own too. Uh, that, that was Kyle's first one, right? So Chris first now. Yeah. Hey I guess. Chris, number eight. Number eight. I don't want to not say Gerald's game. It's gonna be Gerald's game. All right, I'll say uh. Fuck. I'll say Gerald's game. Nope. Fuck it. Uh, Salem's Lot. Nope, the dead zone. Salem's not lock. Wait, I don't think Salem's lot's gonna count because wasn't it like a TV one or something? I don't oh, know. This, Why are you helping the opposition? Movie? Pretty sure. Wait, well, I'm sorry. What was number seven? No, that was the dead zone. Okay. All right, yeah. number seven, Kyle. Oh. Number six, me. <sighs> Gerald's game. No. Okay, okay good. I'm glad he. Yeah, I'm glad he guessed. <laughs> that, I guess else. Shawshank. Carrie, 1976. Uh. All right. Chris, number six. Gerald's game? Nope. Gerald's game made it in the top five. That's pretty good. <laughs> if it's even that. Uh, it's not uh, even gonna be on mis- this misery. Yep. Okay, so you got one. Four, you got a three. list, too. Just Four, remember. Three. Well, this, this should be easy, right? Process five. of elimination. All right, Kyle, you're up. The Mist. No. Gore. <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking you. Gerald's game? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, four four. Here we go, big boys. <laughs> All right, Chris. Yeah. Go which, ahead. Which number is this? Four. Four. Shawshank. No. Fuck. Stand by me. No, it was the mist. Wow. Uh, All right, bro? Kyle. For three. Yep. Stand by me. Yep. All right. All right. Now for number two. There's only two movies left. Yeah, I know what the two movies are, but what place? This article, uh, I'll say number two is Shawshank. It's not. Yeah! Yeah. (laughs) And then number one, Shawshank. That's not fair, though. How how, how come I went? That's not fair. I didn't have a list either, you piece of shit. Come on. I didn't use a fucking handicap like a fucking dirtbag. Oh, I bet you you play bowling with the fucking rails up, too, you (laughs) dirtbag cock. Speaking yeah, of dirt bags, Disney Plus is a thing now. Let's talk about that. Fuck you. No one cares about Disney. <laughs> what so, time is this? It's, uh, seven dollars. It's what one time? one hour, fourteen minutes. Okay. I'm not fucking scrolling through this dumbass fucking video, trying to find places to put posters. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Disney Plus is a thing now. That finally got announced. Uh. <laughs> There's a lot of shit on there. So they're announcing a, they announced a bunch of new shows. 
Yes. Uh, a lot of new uh, Marvel shit. There's some Phineas and Ferb movie. That's all I heard from Twitter. Oh timeline. hell yeah, Phineas and Ferb. That's all. That's all I heard from my Twitter timeline. But it was a lot. A lot of new shows. A lot of Did original you know? shows. Uh, all the Simpsons. All the Simpsons is on there. All Simpsons. I'm assuming everything 20th century is gonna be on there, right? I'm pretty sure there's like 450 shows on there, right, or something like that. Something crazy. That was actually like a lot. I mean, for seven bucks uh, a month, that's pretty good. Yeah. So that's the big kicker. Was everyone's like, oh, is this gonna be 20 bucks a month? Because I totally could have been like 20 bucks a month. That's yeah. what I would have thought Disney would have did, but they would they, they fucking just like looked at Netflix in the eye and said, fucking seven dollars. Well, seven dollars. Just give me seven. Hey, you know what? Give me ten. I'll give you three back. That's what they said. And then uh, Netflix uh, Netflix stock tanked for uh, not tanked, but it definitely dropped hard the next day. Of course. I mean, I don't really get that. Well, well, okay. to be fair, because stock does drop. Because Netflix anything. will stuff definitely have technically more content. Because I mean, they only have what Disney and 20th Century Fox, and I guess. Uh, and all the Disney movies. Well, that's what I said. Yeah, all the Disney, but. Netflix has a lot more stuff, technically. Yeah, uh, and they have a over, lot more original stuff on there too. Over time, Netflix has been kind of sort of wishy-washy because they've been losing rights to some stuff, you know. That's true. Um, true. But if you want to really see Disney, that's definitely the best thing to get. I mean, you can get a Blu-ray if you want, but seven bucks a month, you can watch anything. You want, you want to watch Aladdin? The new one will probably be out by then. If you want to watch that, if it even ends up being good, probably not. But um. It'll be on there. Everything didn't they say every Disney thing will be on there immediately yes. when it comes out? So Avengers will be all on there. All the animated movies? Uh, all the animated I, movies. I, no, I forget. It better be everything. I think I I don't know what the actual if there was an actual window on what they were because I'm sure they wanna they don't wanna take over their, give, their physical copies. Give you copies. everything they want. Because because people buy physical copies of Disney movies like crazy. Oh um, yeah yeah no I get I get that. Are but they gonna do the Disney Vault shit with this? No, so sure? everything's on there. There's no vaults on on Great Disney Plus. God. That's the stupidest fucking thing ever. And they make yeah. money off it. Yeah. Okay. This is a fish man. Why are you showing me this? Is this going? Gonna be on, is this uh, going? To be on, is this on Disney Plus? Yeah, keep going. Can you kick him out? Hey Gore, when you're editing this, just cut this part out. Hey, get get that out of the fucking way, Kyle. I'm to... reading. Hey, yeah, good. <laughs> I'm reading. He doesn't usually do this, okay? So just give him a break. Try to act funny for everyone right now. Kyle, can you... Oh, this is supposed to be funny. I thought he was really trying to learn. (laughs) I forgot forgot to put the Disney Plus thing on my tags anyway. So I'll have a blank thing that just says I'm an hour and 14 minutes. And I'll be like, what the fuck is that? Why is this podcast over? Wait, guys, uh, talk about Disney. Oh, he doesn't... Oh, I get it now because he doesn't like Disney. Oh, he's a film school boy, so he's gonna look at his art shit. Oh, talk about Hellboy, fucking, Kyle. A bunch of fuzzy-haired fuckers on the front over there, or the back. I'm sorry. Oh look, he's got a hat on, and it's a fish, and he's saying hello. If Mickey Mouse hello. went up to Kyle right now and said, "I'll buy your 30-second short film on YouTube for a million dollars," Kyle would fucking sell it in a second. I think he's flipping through no, this, this album like it's a goddamn book. Like, it is. It is a book. A fuck. Yeah, you? it's a shitty book. Your audio sucks when you have that in there, so stop doing that. Yeah, what are you trying? He looks like when he has it like this. It looks like he's trying to get a tan with one of those fucking reflective yeah, things. Yeah, your audio sucks, Kyle. Eh, too bad. This is a good podcast. I know. Can you? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the naked Ooh, fish. La la. Fucking kill Talk me. about Disney. Move, move Disney. that out of the way. <laughs> Why? It doesn't matter. Because your audio sucks with it. It's dumb. Move it out of the way. He's not gonna talk anyway. All right. Anyway, Disney Plus. It's just, it's a good deal. A uh, seven dollars a month. It's uh, seventy dollars. Is it seventy dollars a year? Seven. Yeah. It it drops that down to like, it's like six something per month if you buy the whole year. Pretty good. That's smart. It's pretty good. That's smart. That's smart. I, I I'll do the month thing. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it for too long, but uh, because I mean I, I barely use Netflix at this point. You think I'm gonna fucking use Netflix except with only Disney and Marvel shit like? And I guess 20th Century. If I want to see Kingsman 2 again, I guess I could. Um, by the way, Kingsman movie, the third one's coming out this February. Just letting you know. Wow! Just letting, you know. just letting you know. I looked it up. and, and Just telling you. I know you like the Kingsman movies. I just want to let you know. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Now, oh, you like Hellboy, but you don't like the Kingsman movies? Now, that makes no. no sense to me. Because those are like tongue-in-cheek. Tongue in and No, and, they try way too fucking hard. 
You try AKA, way too hard. If they, like, try, if they try to be funny, Kyle doesn't like it. But if they like, yeah. just, just trip on like a fucking rock, oh, it's hilarious. So, it is. So it is. Kyle, Kyle hates when people try to be funny, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 how ironic, right? Unless they're comedians. <laughs> how unless how they're ironic. <laughs> the motherfucker wearing a penis that says glazed. <laughs> yeah, with, with, so with, he, with, he thinks it's funny because it's stupid. The no, he's not laughing at you for me. That he's yeah. laughing at how it's, ironic it's, it's, it is no, right I'm now. No, I'm laughing at the hat, which you didn't make. Exactly, that hat. it's a funny it's hat. A I'll give you that. I'm wearing it. All right, not no. laughing at you. I'm laughing at a hat that says glazed tenders, and you're trying to act like fucking. Oh, I don't like all this silly shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The absurdity of life is the funniest thing ever. Oh, shut That's the fuck up. Oh, it's you trying to be John ironic Luke right now. Guard over here. <laughs> so so stupid. Scudard. Like, nothing about what you're doing right now is funny. Hey, let me look at a, let me look at a record. Oh, ooh, hey, ooh, keep ooh, talking about something ooh, I don't like. Ooh, God, ooh, God knows ooh, I had to sit through you fucking trying to just... I had to sit through you... I had to sit reading my lyrics. I had to sit... I had... I'm reading the lyrics, bro. You talking about Disney, I had to sit through Kyle trying to justify that Hellboy was good. I don't want to hear... Oh, I don't want to hear about Disney for for two minutes. Oh, well, talk about it. I'm listening. I don't... I don't like this. <laughs> well, we don't need to talk about Disney Plus too much. It's a cool no. thing. I like it. Uh, It's coming out in November, right? Yeah, I I think for sure we'll we'll address some of the shows when they come out because uh obviously now, we we gotta wait on Endgame because it's spoiling shit left and right about what's gonna happen. Not that it really, not that we didn't know it was gonna happen, but you know. Huh? Uh, some of the shows that they showed, I don't know if you you probably avoided that then. Uh, some of the what? shows they announced for Disney Plus actually are big MCU movies going forward. Or not MCU well, yeah. movies, MCU sh- tied in shows that. Oh yeah, yeah, I know yeah, a couple right, of them, right. like the yeah. Loki show. Not that one. Well, Rochi show? Uh, yeah, but the Loki show it doesn't even be... No, I mean, not that, it's not that one that I'm talking about. Yeah. What's oh, the other one you know? The other one? Isn't it... Uh, uh, oh, no. Wait, no, that's Star Wars. Yeah, Never so mind. there was one show no, There's that... another one. I don't remember what it was. What... No, nah, it might be Star Wars. Never mind. <laughs> the there's another one I, I, I knew about. I forgot what it was. The Mandalorian? <laughs> no, not that one. There was, a, there was another one. I think there's a cartoon show coming out for Star Wars, right? The Clone Wars. On Disney... Star Wars? Is that what you just said? Clone Wars. The Mandalorian. The Clone Wars. The who? Sprout. The Clone Wars? Yeah. That's from, like, 2008. No, no one but they're doing another season of it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I no one trailer. wants to see that. <laughs> yeah. I watched sure. a trailer for it. I was like, oh, cool. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I never I watched know. any of the other seasons. Uh, um, oh. So, just really quick to touch on. Uh, Shazam's sequel got confirmed with the the writers of the first one, which is cool. Oh fuck yes, that makes my nipples hard. Speak, speaking Ooh. of uh, hard oh. nipples, there's a tumor hey. sequel also confirmed. A tumor sequel? Oh, no. There's a tumor sequel? Yeah, a Fine. tumor, a tomb raider. Uh, oh yeah, that's the same thing. That's a, that's weird. That that movie did okay, but I thought it just did good enough where they made money, like a little bit of money, not too much, and we'll just call it quits because the games aren't doing well. The games so. They, There's a sequel for the game coming out too. I was like, "What the fuck, really?" Yeah. So, I mean, I'll talk about games for a bit, but uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider did horrible. I heard. No, they no, they said they were they were pleased with how it did. You would think that's not true because they advertised the shit out of that game after it came out. Remember, they were like, "Please, please buy it." <laughs> they might as well have just said that. Yeah. In the no, ad. they they just recently said they were super pleased with how how the performance was of that game. Maybe it was the Game Pass thing. Maybe the Game Pass saved it. I don't know. I don't know how much money they make from Game Pass, but I'm, just, I'm assuming uh, they make know, a obviously portion. enough because like Just Cause went that way too. Yeah, well, Just Cause made sense too because I I know for a fact that sold horrible. You know, they they said that I don't even think that made it in the top ten of that month, and there was like Smash and what else? I think it was it. Yeah, I think it was Smash and Just Cause four. I think those were the only two games that came out that month. December, um, yeah. huh? In December, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that that broke. for a big franchise like Just Cause, that's abysmal. Right. And how, you, you remember how quick that went on sale too, just like Fallout and all these other. Well, games? Uh, we'll talk about more on that on uh, the, the game the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's Shazam-o. talk about trailers. Huh? Let's talk trailers. All right, good. Which one yeah. do you want to talk about first? <laughs> I don't remember which ones we're talking about. Lion King and Star Wars <sighs> and Adam's Family. Right? So Kyle uh, can Adam's, fill. Let's talk about Adam's family first. So Kyle yeah. can fill. All right. So the Adam's family is a CGI re- 
reboot of the classic What's Adam's Family your series eyes? slash movie. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what? The cow's eyes are just dripping half down. Yeah, because I'm... What's that subway? I don't, don't want to talk about this stuff. Well, I thought you wanted to talk about Adam's family. Yeah, and then you're talking over me. Oh, okay, Because <laughs> your eyes were funny. <laughs> see, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. It's yeah. weird, yeah. right? No, it's Something tired. that's weird is different from the normal, and something that's different from the normal No, it's just you look dumb. I'm bored. <laughs> Yeah, see, so it's funny. No, see, now you're over uh, it. it. looks all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're going to, like, do a snap? Come on, man. Uh, we all die. Oh. What? <laughs> There's a, well, that's the Adams Family's joke, is that they o- always torture each other. We, that's uh... the joke about Adams Family. They always like, oh, let's uh, see what kind of contraption we can make to kill each other, pretty much. Yeah. That's the that's the that's joke funny. of Adam's Family. It is funny. But Adam's Family is an old, it used to be a comic strip or something like that, I think. And then it got turned into a TV show in the 60s. And then a movie in the 90s, which I used to watch all the time. I um, wonder why. Huh? I wonder why. But I like murder. <laughs> so you want. Okay. But, uh. Yeah, uh, it makes sense as a as a uh, animated movie though. I, I just wish it was a uh, like Pixar, you know, or someone, you know, like not Pixar. I don't want Pixar. I wish it was Claymation. Um, a Claymation would be cool. Um, I would love Clay, especially like after seeing Missing Link, which this trailer was in front of. Uh, that wasn't Claymation, but it's like stop motion. Same thing, pretty much. Uh, I just like stop motion. Uh, but I'm not like, sure the, I dig the style. I, I, don't, I don't like I don't like the look of it. Technically, I, I like the designs. It, I just it, don't like the look. Of it, which is it's, weird. I, I like the designs because they look like the old original designs, but I just don't. I don't know. They have that that like the DreamWorks like Despicable Me style that. Yeah, I, I that's not think, DreamWorks. Yeah, that's not DreamWorks. No, but well, I, I don't know what you mean. It looks like Despicable Illumination. Me. Illumination. <laughs> Illumination. Yeah, yeah. It looks like Despicable Me. Like some Who's people have said, uh, they even said that freaking Gomez looks like uh, what's his name? That dude Gru? from Despicable Me. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Um. I don't think it is. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's Paramount. Uh, Scrote. It's Scrote. Scrote the. Scrote, Scrote Productions. Uh, production company MGM. What? Yeah, but who actually made it? You. Un- Un- Nitrogen Studios. Oh, they did no. Sausage Party and Happy. Oh, Never that's Happy. right. Someone told me that in the comments. I didn't believe them though. It's because <laughs> it, it's like, that's why it looks so weird because they probably had a really small budget. Just like Sausage Party. Remember yeah, Sausage yeah, that's Party? Why, that's why it all takes place in that house and it's probably not going to go anywhere outside of it. Well, that's, that's what Adam's Sounds family. great. That's what Adam's family is, though. They always just stay in the house, so that, that makes sense. But, um, again, I mean, if you, if you, I, I know you want it to be expansive and they go fight Iron Man or some shit, but it's just, I mean, that'd be great. But, no, uh, I don't give a fuck. But, you know, like, it's, it, it it's following what people like about Adam's I, family I, and no, that's I, them just torture each other for no, I have I have no issue with it whatsoever being in their own house. I don't oh. really care about that. I'm, uh, I'm curious. I'm curious. Like no, no, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm just curious about what the story's going to be and how you can make that last for a whole... whole it movie. could just be like any Adam's family thing where like someone comes like to visit or whatever um, and they're just normal. Maybe they're there for a reason. Like, they're, oh, foreclose your house or something. Anything. Um, and they're normal and Adam's family's not and it's just the whole movie, them screwing with these people and also screwing with each other. That sounds great. Uh, that's probably what's going to be. That's going to be like the basic plot of uh, Adam's family. Anything uh, as normal people interact with Adam's family. That's uh, like, see how these contrast, but, uh, yeah. And, uh, it'd be cool to not have a movie that's, uh, completely tied to plot all the time. So that's cool. That would be cool. Like Hellboy. Yeah. <laughs> have Hellboy would have been better if it was CG animated. Uh, probably. Hell, Hellboy kind of looked like Gru. <laughs> uh, uh, Adrian. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, let's... Uh, we're creepy and we're spooky. Mysterious. Uh, and since, I, I think since you probably... Yeah, the family. I don't think Kyle or I are going to have that much input, but do you want to talk about the Star Wars trailer? Why wouldn't Kyle have input? Kyle doesn't watch yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, I saw it. I don't watch <laughs> Star Wars. He doesn't Karen, like it. Yeah, I canceled go. going to see Star Wars in IMAX tonight because I was going to do this shit. So he doesn't like Star Wars. Wait, you're going to see Star Wars in IMAX? Yeah, episode four. I know. That's what there's, I, there's I figured the what you te- meant. 
There's a TCM Fest, Turner's Classic Movie Festival. IMAX, and you turn this down. You turn that down. This, this yeah, because I'm like, because I'm like, I have to wait in line a long time, and I waited in line for 11 hours already today, and I don't want to do that. I'll just watch it at home if That's I really want to. That's why you like that. You waited that long to see Beach Bomb again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody's flocking to see it before it disappears completely. Hey, uh, so let's talk about that trailer then. All right. So this is the all Force you guys, then. Awakens three. Uh, no. Uh, I I liked the Last Jedi a lot. I don't uh-huh. care. Oh no. Oh, they did this thing I don't like. Oh, there's uh, one character uh, that's in the movie for ten minutes. That's kind of annoying. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna blow uh, everything. I forgot to blow all these little things out of proportions and just call, call the movies terrible. Even though there's some great fucking moments in that movie, dude, I don't know dude, why that, everybody's just like. So, as someone who again does not have skin in the game with uh, Star Wars, really, that shot where uh, they they shoot the what the fucking ship, you know, and everything just goes silent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was when fucking. The, when she, when the purple-haired feminist chick uses the uh, her own ship to phew, that was, go into that was incredible, right? dude. That in IMAX, that shot was so fucking good. I was like, God I, damn, dude. My theater had a notice. That yours probably did too. I don't know if yours did, Kyle. My theater had a notice that said about whatever, like an hour and fifty minutes it's, into this it's movie, not there, an goes, accident. there is no audio for about ten seconds. No, the theater didn't just like magically just all the speakers blew oh, out. Oh right. yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, when it got silent for like ten seconds, people right. because I guess people were complaining like that was weird. Like I don't know where it's for ten seconds it just went. I yeah. went down. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Like I don't care how movies work. Uh, where am I? Take a dump in the uh, that was, They, that they was, suddenly yeah. realized when all the noise and stuff stopped distracting them, they realized they're watching trash. So it makes sense. Uh, Just that kidding. Was, that I was an incredible feel, show. I don't even feel that. Like all noise. Yeah, exactly. And it made, it made the lizard brain part of my brain happy. <laughs> my, the lizard brain part of my brain. Yeah, see? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't even have that strong like uh, feelings towards last year. I just feel like it's... Uh, I, I, there were some great moments in that movie. I don't give a fuck. There were good moments. There were bad moments. Yeah, there's a couple. Of, anything involving what's her name, which everybody blew out of proportions, I think, still. Um, but what's her name? The new character, Rose. Uh, right. Leia stuff was dumb. I don't know. I, I like the Leia stuff. The stuff with Poe and the headmistress or whatever the fuck, that was <laughs> the so pointless. Anyway. So, there were some great moments. I thought the the throne room scene where Kylo and and Rey team up. I thought it was I thought it was great. I don't care. Yeah, it was. And you could say the lizard part of my brain was like, oh, Thor fighting, but I thought it was just well done. I thought it was a it really was good, was well done, graph scene. It wasn't just like, oh, look at the lightsabers, whoa, you know, it's always oh, flipping around. You know, it's not fucking episode two, you know, where it's just like, look at all the lightsabers. Right. Oh my god, that one's green. That one's blue. That one's purple. Oh my! Look at the colors. Look at all the aliens. That one has dreads. I'm not done. All right, I'm done. Good. The main problem I have with Last Jedi, well, really, like the only serious problem I have with it, is just if it feels like it's being very smart by doing the whole uh, subverting expectation stuff. That's just it's just like it's just like kind of lame. To be fair, they could have done it a much smarter way. That, that was people after the movie came out talking. Every review was just like, it subverts your expectations. It's not like they marketed it like that. It was like, right, yeah. this movie's going to blow you away where it goes. But you know? Ryan Johnson clearly is a filmmaker who likes to try to think out the side of the box because he did that with Looper and stuff. I just I just don't think he's always very successful at it, like personally. Well, anyway, they got rid of him. They said, <laughs> fuck, fuck off, brick boy. No, uh, they got they rid got- of Colin Trevorrow. No, well, they they got rid of Ryan Johnson too. Uh, they shot him in the back of the head. Colin Trevor. They gave him like, a whole, after, whole trilogy. After, what do you mean? I, no, that's not going to happen anymore. Yeah, it is. The oh, fuck. They said like they, recently. They yep, said after, no. They said after this movie that it's taken a a a, a long hiatus. Is what yeah, saying. and then the, it's going to be like two years. I don't think that trilogy going to happen. After Ryan right? Johnson's new movie Knives Out is done, he's going back to Star Wars. I don't. I don't think he's gonna. He is I, going I, to. I think Disney's going to fucking say no, Ryan. You you made a great movie, but people no, are big. they're going to take a year off. They're going to take a year off like a fucking Ubisoft <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Yes, they are. What the fuck do you think? 
they're gonna let the bi- their biggest cash cow just disappear for like years cow. and years. Yeah, no, no, Marvel is definitely their biggest cash cow. Well, okay, maybe they realize that and they're like, okay, we'll give it a break. It's not fucking Solo. special Solo anymore. Solo didn't even do as good as Ant Man. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Okay. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Ant Man. There's Black nothing Panther didn't special even do as good as Incredible, Incredible Two. Ant Man shrunk and went up Star Wars' ass. <laughs> it, just, <Once. laughs> it exploded. <laughs> Once you make Star Wars not special anymore, it just it just com- I just completely failed interest. Kyle, what? I expe- I, you're missing the important part. What? It's about it's about family. <laughs> That's, that's what's so, so special about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about yeah. I feel bad. That's what she said too, because no, she's dead. It's uh, like her last words. <laughs> it feels like it. Uh, even though she's in this movie, she appears in this trailer, well, and they explain stock right. footage of Force Awakens. Well, no, that's it's not stock footage. It's deleted footage. Um, they say I watched the. Uh, they did a celebration. Shush. Uh, they did a celebration uh, panel thing before they showed the trailer, and I watched the whole panel. Because I'm stupid. Um, and it was a lot of just like, oh, Peter Mayhew. Oh, he's not there. I'm sorry. Who's the guy that plays C3PO? Anthony Daniels. Anthony Daniels shows up. He's always there. He's cucking out for Star Wars. Cucking <laughs> out. <laughs> he's a, he loves Star Wars because that's the only thing he has. And I heard he's a major asshole. So <laughs> I don't even want to talk about Anthony Daniels. But anyway, C3PO, all these people came out. Finn, Ray, everybody, all the actors. Uh, it was fine. It was just like, it wasn't even questions, really. I mean, there was questions. Stephen Colbert did a good job. But it was just, you know, a typical panel. Then they showed the trailer, and I I thought the trailer was really good. Uh, and I know there's going to be people out there, I'm sure Kyle, you'll be one of them, um, where they say, like, oh, they're leaning too much on the past and stuff. And, you know, like, with, at the end, the, the Emperor laughs. He's back, which I, I can't wait for because I love Palpatine. Uh, even in the prequels, I love him. Uh, and I want to see him back. Uh, they showed uh, I, the Death I Star, think... which... To be honest, I didn't even realize that was the Death Star until I saw the trailer the second time. I was like, oh, so, shit, that's even even notice. I thought I it was th- just building the story. I think if you're going to make a saga, and obviously if you try that's to good. buck the trend too much with Last Jedi, that's obviously going to... Yes, they went so safe much. again. Yeah. I, I no, don't even think it's hey, playing it this, safe. I think, like, I think... Oh, it totally is. No, I... They got J.J. Abrams to make it safe again. That's what he does well. He does it well. There's a time and place for when a movie doesn't need to, or when it needs to like break molds and like do something crazy. That there's a time and place for that. I think there's also a you need to give the audience what they want to. You know, you need need, if you're gonna have a a nine movie saga come to a close, you need to like give them what they want and send it out with a bang. Because I mean, at the end of the day, you still want to appease your audience. You don't. You're not gonna like. You don't want to just buck the trend for the sake of bucking the trend. Exactly what you're saying with Last Jedi. That's literally what they were doing. Is they're trying to do something different for the sake of it, and it didn't work out. And I think that's obvious. If if it did made work out, made a lot of right, money, made over a billion dollars. It but also slowed a lot. It did of way down. worse than the first one. And well, also, it, probably because fucking Rogue One, the piece of shit that it was, was like a terrible stopgap in between them. Oh. Horrible, like just a straight up horrible movie. Anyways, your whole thing about appeasing the audience, like, sure. See, like, that's what I mean. That's, right that's, there. that's, that's <laughs> see that that's, that's some kooky that's shit. That's funny. See, there you go. <laughs> gain, immediate financial gain, but in the end, it ruins the art, and that's where I just <laughs> like, think it's lost everything. That sort of stuff. I feel bad that I agree with you earlier with Hellboy. Uh, you. <laughs> a horrible movie. <laughs> well, yeah, Stupid. Hellboy is a horrible movie. You got damn right. Uh, I see, like now, you, now you see where I'm at. Well, no, I, 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 said, the fun I, I said like 20 stuff. times it was a bad movie. I just enjoyed it. <laughs> I first off, first movie. off, Rogue One's great. No, it's it, fucking it's coming not. from someone who yeah, doesn't do... I, I actually did not invest shit into the Star Wars franchise around Rogue One time. I still wanted to go watch that movie twice. That was great. Uh, second, Sorry. Kyle. Second. Great. Just because it's playing a save doesn't mean it's not art. How is Cre- that art? Cre- because it's fucking made by committee. Like they're you're you're talking about a every movie at this point. Is it's made like by oh committee. god, the audience didn't like Last Jedi. Okay, we need to like uh, make it better so that they'll, they'll go go see it again. It doesn't matter how good it is. Let's just make it a fucking good. Let's get JJ Abrams again. He made it work so well last time. Third greatest, highest budget fucking movie of all time. 
Third if, highest grossing movie getting, of all time. Okay. Let's see them again to make the exact to same be fucking fair, movie. though, you, you could say that, but they gave The Last Jedi to a guy yeah, that did two movies. Okay. Well, people didn't like that The Force Awakens was too much like the old one. Sorry, so let's give it, let's make it a little different. Let's get a new guy in here, Ryan Johnson, made Looper. Let's get him in there. Oh, he fucked with it a little too much. He didn't. People didn't he, like it, so of course they're gonna get the guy that made the movie people liked. Like, and, and Colin Trevorrow made a fucking horrible movie like the same year as The Last Jedi. And I and I and, I, and, and reactions, knee jerk reactions to. Dude, I don't dude, think knee jerk. It's a big franchise. They watch, can't make another movie people don't like because then people will be like, oh fuck this. Dude, people dude. don't like. I still think most people liked it. It's just oh, yeah. that fans, dude. You but you can't how pander to them in Solo and Rogue One. Those are fan pander. Those are the fan pander. Okay, movies. but here check this and that's out. Why I don't like them. Check this out. But how can you call something not art when people are watching this fucking trailer and still like crying during it, just seeing everything come back to them? Uh, I, know, I already know the thing he's gonna say. You know, it's something that makes you cry. Is it's art. Like no, it's not good pop art. And that's what Star Wars was originally. It was great pop art. Yeah, and that's not what it is anymore. Even it's, even it's, Star Wars as it's, its own wasn't like fucking the most groundbreaking story of all time. It's not about the fucking story. Star Wars 1977 changed popular movies forever, sure. forever. There is yeah. a there is a divide between Hollywood movies before and after. Star Wars. It's just as that simple. It was that groundbreaking. Yeah, but movie. you're expecting Star Wars to continue to do that groundbreaking over time. It's because it makes fucking money. That's what it comes down to. But if it just made money, then why would they give a fuck about making it quality at all? Like you know, look at tra- the Transformers that's movies make no tons thing. of money. They don't give a fuck. Because uh, just have a, two more robots fight for 45 minutes. You know, film people don't fucking uh, like. It at least connected with the audience, and eventually it did fucking uh, bite them in the ass. Because eventually, it yeah, stopped. eventually after five fucking movies, Star Wars is starting to not appeal to them either, based on fucking Solo. Well, Solo was just a poorly timed fucking thing. I don't even know what the fuck they were. I, I think they I think they I should think have tying, that to December. I think tying that with Solo is really ignorant. It was bad time, especially with the Last Jedi, where people weren't liking that movie. But people who did see Solo tended to like it, so I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I, li- I really like Solo. But um, I think I don't. I think you're tying the unnecessary with fatigue. It is think, both unnecessary yeah. and fatiguing. It is fatiguing because it's nece- unnecessary. That's what it comes Solo down to. Solo was unnecessary. Yeah, it's fatiguing. Episode 9 is not unnecessary. Rogue, if Rogue One didn't come out, Last, Last Jedi would not be fatiguing. But since Rogue One did, it's not, it's not fatigue. It's that, that it, it, it was, just was not fatigue. a movie that a lot of the like everyone universally liked. Which one? Last Jedi. Last Jedi. Right. And, and a lot of these viewings come from right. people repeat viewers, and they didn't want to. Yeah, they didn't want to after Last Jedi because they're like, well, they fucked it up. C- Carrie Fisher flew like Superman <laughs> in space. Which, when she has the force, I mean, that's not the weirdest shit I've seen with the force. But well, I did um, thing also, the people who cried, who seriously cried at this, stu- at this fucking thing. part trade. of their childhood, man. Like, people oh, cried when the God. Force Awakens trailer child came out. How many times can you go back to your childhood and still feel the exact same emotions? Like, well, it but just, that's not the point. This this trailer does something different, and I, they give you the voiceover yeah, thing. It might, it might, it might, hold on, might hold on, touch hold on, the hold part on. of your brain that's, like, you know, obvious. Like, wait, what? One sec. Stop interrupting each other. Well, I, he was I know. Me. I'm I know. So. I'm it's it's, it's going to come out as terrible I'm audio. Listening. I'm listening. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. This is a terrible podcast, anyway. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying now. Uh, I know it, it touches the part of your brain that, like, gets easily emotional, okay? Because, it, because it's it's Star Wars, and when they play the music and they have Mark Hamill do the voiceover, it's just like, uh, uh, our time has ended. So it, it does the obvious stuff, but I think I think it still works. I, I, I do, and I, I don't think... I'm talking about this trailer now. I, I, fuck The Last Jedi. We were talking about this trailer. I think this trailer, just talk about the trailer alone, was well done, and I do not think it's just retreading The Force Awakens and the original Star Wars. I think, first of all, it's on a it's just, it looks like it's going to take place mainly on that planet, so I don't even think, I don't even think it's going to... Is it Jakku? I don't know. The sure. desert fucking planet? 
Is it a desert? I don't mean, I mean, it was a desert, but wasn't there like a like a ice part of the planet? I don't know. I have to watch the trailer again. Either. But um, I dude, um, I want to say this. <laughs> I think I think it's so silly of you, Kyle. Like complain about people with their nostalgia when there's a recording of you breaking your computer over Final Fantasy VII being remade. I didn't break a computer. Oh, you sure screwed the, the mic. Well, like, see, that's the thing. Well, no, he, only, he only breaks no, no, his no. tape. I'm sorry only, that this only, game no, that's been like only, released plenty of times is getting a new coat of paint that's still not out yet that just happened to play the music over it okay, that happened listen, to have a character Well, walking. hey, listen. When you do it once, <laughs> when you do it once, I'm fucking fine with it. When Force Awakens came out, I was fucking excited for that, and it didn't make me feel nostalgic and emotional. You can't do that five fucking... It's the fifth time now i can't i just cannot comprehend still feeling that same way it just doesn't make sense at that point you're still living in your childhood if you fucking feel that way but the that's thing what is that, yeah, i wouldn't say it's the fifth time i know solo and rogue one but that was uh, yeah okay you, force awakens it I, rogue I, one. I know you let me fucking finish <laughs> yeah i know i can count too fucker um <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> i'm saying rogue one and solo weren't like the the episodes where they're touching on your your uh, nostalgia in the trailers. Don't fu- let me fucking finish. Stormtroopers are in fucking Rogue One. That's like what the main. Of course they're gonna be in the fucking. Of course they're gonna be the story involves the, the, the Empire. That's the, you know what? Arrow stormtroopers Jack. guys. Well, they're back. talk about these stupid ass trailer dude, like, dude, breakdown videos. That, that's sort of the, fuck- the same exact way that if you, we'd fill up with Halo, like ODST comes out cool. Reach comes out cool. It was a what cool the fuck jump. Are the from, Marines? Yeah, it was a it was a jump from it was a jump from three to like four. The actual like hard number four that got everyone excited because that's a main entry. That the the <laughs> side the side <laughs> stories side stories don't hold a candle to the main stories. When it's being marketed as the next big, as another big Star Wars movie, no matter how, if that's it's marketing. The of course, they're gonna say it's a, the, what are they gonna say? This next small little story on this side of Star Wars. Yeah, no, they're gonna say the next big thing that, that you want to know. Of course, like that's marketing. Like it'd be dumb marketing to say, hey, we got a little small side story over here. Look at him all stressed out. <laughs> They made it a fucking side story in the fucking first place. Everybody knows it's a side story, not part of the episode, but they still treat it as it's just as big as these other fucking ones. Okay, then that's cool. They definitely treat Solo like it was teaching. Yeah, they definitely did not. No, they marketed that movie three months before it even came out. That's the look at that movie movie eight months before it comes out. The production phase. It look at fucking look at Force Awakens. Got to get Ron Howard to ram that trailer thirteen months before the movie even came out. Over a year before the movie came out, I got a trailer. For so yeah. was three months. J.J. Abrams is very competent. J.J. Abrams is a very competent director. He does things very well for okay. what they are, and he does. And I'm sure this is going to be fine. I'm sure I'm probably going to enjoy it more than. <laughs> He's gonna come out and say it's the best Star Wars. The- no, I still no. What's gonna happen for- is if people hate it, he's gonna fucking love it. Yeah. <laughs> I, everybody hated Last Jedi, apparently, and I just thought it was okay. <laughs> like, at best. Anyway, the trailer was great. I liked it. It was fine. I, 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 okay. I don't understand what about it was that, like, emotionally grabbing. Like, I, I, I understand... I didn't say I cried. I'm just no, I'm, I'm my argument was that you, even I'm if you shy. don't agree with it, it's silly to, like, not call it art if it gets to people's emotions like that. Regardless of whether or not it's the same piece of art... Whatsoever, Trash like, art. I don't know, man. If we're gonna have a video game, it's art it's about the guy that has a bunch of trash in the background. Why don't you clean up your place? <laughs> trash. You look like fucking it's fat like record day. Fucking wearing glazed nuggets. That fucking is hat. fucking funny. It's, all right, it is good. I like it. <laughs> if Thanos rocked one of those in Avengers, I'd be like, all right, I, I get it. See, I get it. I get it. Hellboy wore that. That would be good. Something. Uh, Imagine Hellboy wore that. See, then that would be great. You know what? Shave all this right here. Like right here. look like Hellboy, yeah. Like Hellboy. Yeah, see, that would be funny. You should do that. Dude, paint yourself red. You can go as Hellboy. Fat Hellboy. (laughs) All right, that was Star Wars (laughs) The Rise of Skywalker. I didn't even talk about the trailer. (laughs) Go ahead, Gordon. I know, I know. I love the trailer. I I thought it was the the best thing ever. What is it? Teaser trailer. Gave me, gave me multiple orgasms. Anyway, there you go. No, t- no, actually, like talk about it for a second. I really liked the trailer. I thought the beginning part was cool. You didn't even reuse shots from the Force Awakens too, like the same basic shots. Like all Kylo Ren looking at the mask and fucking. He wasn't. He he put new shit on the mask. 
I don't and know why the he has same to... shit as him looking at the Darth Vader mask. Yeah. But yeah, but I like that stuff. I like that he, he's like a fanboy of Darth Vader. You know, he's—I mean, his grandson. Well, but they're not so, doing that here. I like that too. In the they first are. Weekends, but they really know. fucking because they didn't show in the trailer. Uh, maybe they will in the movie, but they didn't show in the it's trailer. Stupid trailer! You see Kylo Ren for not even five seconds in this fucking trailer. How do you know they're not doing that? I'm just saying the trailer didn't do that. Okay, I know, I'm, but you made it seem like the movie didn't do. Like you got some insider information. Like, no. okay, uh, Colin Trevorrow talked to you. Like this is a really script, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they give it to Kyle I of all people. Imagine, imagine the the movie Colin Trevor was gonna make was Dude, pretty much like it's terrible. No, imagine it was just like the Book of Henry. Imagine it would have been interesting, more interesting than this. I knew it. <laughs> it would have been like Hellboy. it would have probably would have been bad for this entire franchise if they actually <laughs> wanted to continue. I and I get well, I get what you're saying, the, the, Kyle. Honestly, it may it, and it's gonna come off like kind of shitty, but like. I had the whole hipster phase too, where I hated, I hated everything that was unoriginal. That's why I didn't watch any Marvel movies until like what, like literally the beginning of last year, right? And Gordon knows I talked so much shit on Marvel movies for the longest time. It was like the same shit, same fucking storyline, and it still is. Like I'm not fucking arguing that, but you got to find the little like, the, you got to find the groove of why people like it and where it goes with that. And then I don't does, care and about, just, and just I because, care about myself. and just because. People over there, it be, people like enjoy the other thing. Doesn't fucking yeah. take away your fucking ladybird or the shit that you can enjoy too. Ladybird. That other people can fucking like too. Everybody it loves take, ladybird. It, it doesn't take that away from you though. That's what you gotta appreciate. Is that it, you still have your own shit over there. See, Bar- listen, listen. I have no problem so like, with something that's unoriginal. There's nothing. Yeah, that, original. that I, can, I can tell. There's Hopefully. nothing original about fucking the Fast and the Furious. But I do enjoy those movies a lot. I don't know. How many movies can you say Vin Diesel drove a car out of a building into another building and then into another building? <laughs> How many movies can you say Vin Diesel and Paul Walker well, drove a specific a I ain't done. I'm not done. Drive a safe through Rio uh, or wherever the fuck it was um, and just, like, destroy cars and kill people. But no one cares. Cause they, I mean, movies you know. with Vin Diesel, like, he say he, he flew from one car from one side of a bridge to another side of a bridge, catching someone in the middle of the bridge. Yeah, or, like, dodging a, a, dodging a missile. What is he? How, what is how many about? movies does The Rock turn a missile around to hit another yeah. fucking car? How many movies do you see The Rock <laughs> just go... Good. It has a cast no, on it and says, Dad, you gotta go work, and flexes it off. <laughs> the point is... How many movies <laughs> I feel... Do you see, how many <laughs> movies do you see Vin Diesel fight witches? That's not even Fast and Furious. Yeah. That's the last witch... Last Dummy. Witch Hunter, the last witch hunter and Riddick. Riddick's great. Well, he doesn't fight witches. And I it's just the fight same stuff. shit. It's Alien. supernatural bullshit. Whatever. Yeah, Alright, speaking of the same <laughs> shit, we got the Lion King trailer. <laughs> that... Oh, yeah. I, I don't agree with the argument, Adrian, because it just depends on each fucking movie, series, or individual movies. And I just feel a guttural reaction to them. And then that's I how just... I was. That's how I was. That's how I felt toward a lot. That's how I never still have not like actually sat down and watched Star Wars, honestly, because I just felt like there's like nothing really super groundbreaking for me at this point. It's like it's like super I think groundbreaking. But but you could say that in, in if you were if you were definitely going watch around with it. Like, that's like that's like it I mean still is. You can that still feel that fucking energy of it. Sure. I, I wouldn't I, say I'm that. About, well, if you watched it when you were a kid, I, right. I, I think you definitely that that's feel like it. and and just to throw like a different example, different medium is uh, it's like people discovering the Beatles right now. It's like yeah, you can appreciate them, but you a lot of people aren't gonna get the. There's still brilliant songwriters. Brilliant but a lot of people aren't gonna appreciate them more than what they have right now because they were the basis. Be as fucking popular, duh. Like yeah. Just, if, if if you're discovering Beatles right now, just don't dance around while singing one. And you'll still probably think but they're amazing right music. Next to and they made was, the best pop song. I was making a all. joke and he just started talking over me. Fuck it. I appreciated it. Thank you. They still make the best. They still have the best. Nobody pop else would have got it anyway. So oh, the I'm most sorry. popular band of all time for a good re- a great reason. But, but I hate everything that's popular. So whatever. Uh, Beatles are not the most popular band ever. Yes, they are. Of all time, have you heard of they Nickelback? Uh, the Ramones? No, they're fucking not. <laughs> they made Pet Cemetery. Yeah. Not the movie, the song. Um, My Chemical Romance. Stupid. Oh uh, yeah, Green Day. <laughs> fucking the twelve-year-old oh, oh, kids in middle school. Who's the Take Me Higher guys? Is that Nickelback? Creed. Creed. Those guys. It's Essence Creed. 
No, Creed was funny because it was a meme. Kanye, is he a band? Speaking of memes, we got the Lion King trailer. Uh, I didn't even really watch it. (laughs) Wait, all right, hold on, time out. It looks fun. (laughs) <laughs> We're getting shit at Cosmo more. <laughs> yeah. A few days ago when the trailer came out, he he talked shit about that trailer because people were talking about it more than the black hole image that, that show that showed up, which is cool. It was a cool image. Amazing cool. advancement in human yeah. fucking but society. You, you gotta Versus remember though, there's a lot of a kids family. on the internet that don't give a fuck about black hole, but they care about they should, and it's really sad that they do not. They're kids. They care about Fortnite and fucking funny <laughs> kids. Lore. Listen, I, I, you know I what? I guarantee you, if I if, people? if we went back in time to fucking young ass Kyle, and there's a black hole. I'm sure he'd be stuck in his thumb, fucking. Be yeah. <laughs> you'd be whatever the equivalent of floss dancing was back then, crumping. You'd be whatever. Yeah, sure, crumping. You're just soldier boy dance. You have to be at least <laughs> thirteen. Be back to be <laughs> yeah, soldier boy. Here you go. Listen. You have to be at least 13 to be on Twitter, so I don't believe that. Yeah, also, I, uh, how'd you find that adult, out? Adult yeah, spin. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do you think everybody's trustworthy? <laughs> yeah, they all they all fucking put their real birth. Yeah, what, what happened to you, Kyle? Listen to me. Adult <laughs> men are going out there on Twitter. They do this to they did this to Incredibles 2. They did this to, they're doing this to Toy Story 4, and they did this to Lion King. This is our movie. We grew up with this movie. This movie's for us. You cannot yeah, people are make ridiculous. your kids this movie. That's ridiculous. Hey, wait, and it goes to show that the people on Twitter are adults. And that's sad to me that they care more about this dumb-looking, fucking pointless, it just inconceptual... You didn't see the trailer! How do you know it's dumb-looking? Well, I think the entire thing and give a shit about it. I saw it, and I'm like, oh, the CG looks good. Wow, I guess it's going to be a great movie. Ridiculous. What? It looks like it's it is a great movie. Again, it's gonna be reusing the same script and stuff. It looks generic as fuck. It's a remake, hey, of course. course. No, I see, see, I, see I'm, I'm upset you didn't have the same reaction I did when I watched the trailer. When I, when I watched the trailer, I was like, they win, they win, they win, they win, they win. Except, no except Disney. Except, wait, wait, hold on, you didn't flip a table. Oh, uh, you know, sorry. Kid, I, I saw, I saw something that I doing live action remake. No, I, it's crazy. This entire decade, I saw, I saw this one thing I liked when I was a kid, and it got a new the coat of paint. And I was like, hell yeah! It was fucking special, and now it's fucking <laughs> not with the Lion King. I don't, you can't. How can they keep doing the same exact thing over and over again, doing the same they're, gimmick? They're still doing new stuff. They're just doing old no, shit too. Disney yeah. remakes. They've been doing this for a decade now. Star Wars movies. They've had a Star Wars movie every single fucking they year. They do other things. It's not like that's it. The movies have been the same for fucking ten years now. All their fucking properties have just c- combined into just two this- other things, though. Hotless fucking corporate think pieces. It's ridiculous. I hate fucking Disney. I, I hate all the shit. Their animated movies are still good, though. <laughs> yeah, so you take <laughs> a Lion King. What they do. <laughs> They think like, of something Disney's really- not Marvel. Remember, Marvel's a completely different studio. They work with Disney, but they're a different studio. So you talk about Disney as Disney, so live action stuff and the animated stuff. But they do original animated movies still. They did a Moana or whatever. That's they did a uh, Wreck It Ralph. They did what's the what other I one? Said. Their animation department on top. Zootopia was great and all. But uh, they didn't really do anything else besides the Marvel stuff, of course. But that's not them. That's Marvel Studios. It's a different branch. The, the Disney conglomerate. But uh, Yeah, okay, fine. But Disney has its own section where they make Disney movies. They don't make Marvel movies. They right. make Disney stuff. Like, like Mona, the- Frozen, all this stuff. But let me... And Toy Story. That's Pixar, but whatever. What, so and, 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 and to tie it to that is that they're doing these other things like Moana and stuff like that. Why can't they remake these movies for the kids that like are now growing up with shit that oh, don't that don't really need to, like re- exactly. it's not kids it's for it's for us don't take your kids to see Lion King it's for that us you're, now you're associating <laughs> with what lame ass people on the internet Everybody's say joking. like why are we thinking about that okay just aside like why would they need to see an inferior version of a classic movie I you know it's inferior all <laughs> all the Disney remakes have been. Yeah, sure. How about Cinderella? I thought was better than the original because I don't like the original. But that's personal. Um, the Kenneth Branagh movie. I think it's just better because I don't like the original and the and the Kenneth Branagh one was like oh, so. It's, it's no, okay. then 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 why why would they need to recreate any games that you liked? No. Yeah. And they're gonna Resident be less. Yeah. Because they fucking age a lot worse than than hand drawn animation. 
uh, in your opinion. You freeze frame some of that Snow White stuff and tell some, me, uh, yeah, it, especially these days, the kids the, seeing all this fucking CG and no, like wait, Marvel wait, and stuff. Why don't they? Why they weren't going to want to yeah, go back to? Yeah, because they're saturated with this fucking with the look of yeah. CG. Okay, let me. Hi. Um, don't What's talk up, over the movie guy. What's up? Don't talk over me when I say this. I agree, kinda, <laughs> partly with Kyle, because I think some of the remakes are pointless completely. Dumbo. Completely. Mm-hmm. There's some, I don't think all of them are. Dumbo. I think the I think Jungle some, Book. The I, Jungle Book wasn't Jungle Book. They took an older movie and they did something completely different with the right. visual style. Dumbo. All right. They did something completely different. Right. Jungle but the Lion King is doing the, the same. The Lion King's doing the same thing. Sure, it's the same director, I hate but they. That shit. But it's it's still doing something different compared to the original movie, and I mean you for the worse for the worse. How do you know for the worse? It looks great. Looks visually as in technically yes, these things look like real fucking animals. That's amazing. That's That's why it's so unique because Jungle Book we followed a human character. So we followed him interacting with these realistic looking animals. Now we just have all animals. There's no humans at all. So that's why I think it's different because we're following all animals. Every main character is an animal. It's like what? It's just the main kid, Mog Mogli or whatever. Yeah, but he's I'm Mowgli. Going. Okay, um, Mogli. Yeah. <laughs> but but it followed him throughout the entire movie. So we we okay, he's so the main it character. Makes it makes it a completely different movie. I didn't say it was completely different. I'm just saying that's what makes it different. I didn't say it's completely different. Obviously, it is different because it's a fucking different story. But uh, it's the Jungle Book and Lion King are not the same. By the way, I mean they both have similar villains in a way but um not exactly but whatever uh it's a different it's take a, on a classic really what's so different about it other than it, from the trailer it's making it look more realistic where it, it, the original is more cartoony obviously because it's cartoony, a cartoon okay okay let me tell you is the tone more realistic and is the tone in the think, original cartoony well yeah for the most part besides, besides, besides the the Mufasa, original, besides yeah when you the, see fuck it when you see are, the, the perfect comparison to that, and again, it, 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 and it's and it's first off, and it's by taste, and I can totally 100% agree with people that like it more, is the shot they have in the trailer where they're walking across the log. You see fucking right. in the cartoon, they're fucking bobbing their heads. You see fucking a yeah, lion is like a, a lion soul. fucking dancing like that, and then you see the other one just walking. But that's a different take of it. That's, this is a realistic take of that, as opposed to a cartoony wow, fucking kids, lion yes. dancing around, prancing look, around. Look, look, look. Yes, look at, kids. Look at here. Here's the best comparison. Look at Pumbaa compared to the cartoon one. The cartoon one, he's kind of cute looking. And this one, he looks like shit. <laughs> he, he looks horrible. And it's perfect. I'm he's gonna, supposed to be a warthog. He's supposed to be smelly and shitty and no one likes him. Uh, I'm going to take anyway. up the defense that these movies are for kids. And kids should, like, be fucking cool to see cartoons. Like the original. And there's a fucking there's a not every you know. kid wants to watch a cartoon though. Like why are we why are we throwing them all into like them no. to, like say you have to watch the cartoon and like this? Because they want to make money off the Lion King again, really? and they're not gonna they're not gonna do hand drawn anymore because they think hand drawn is dead and it probably is. No, because see, they made fucking parents and stuff recognize that CG is like oh amazing. A, a remake, a remake, a cartoon it's remake of Lion King. Hand- a cartoon remake of Lion King would be exactly up the alley of what you're saying, which it's, it would not be needed. So if we're not going to go back and recreate a classic hand-drawn the way that it, that it deserves to be, do a different take of it and go about it a whole different way. There would be no reason for you to redraw The Lion King. I think what Kyle is saying is that he just didn't want it to happen at all. But... It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So if it's going to happen, if it's going to happen, at least make it different looking, not just the same shit again. What know? does being realistic add to the movie other than looking visually interesting? Well, so far from what I saw in the trailer, it makes it look more like if, if these animals existed. I mean, what does that And they're talking. If you were a human there and they were talking, you wouldn't hear them. But they're communicating to one another. I think that's supposed to be the point is that they're communicating one another. And it's supposed to just, like, make you feel it more, I'm assuming. Like, it, like I'm assuming when, spoilers, when Mufasa dies, I'm assuming that's going to be way more graphic because it's a real, it, it looks like a, a real lion. So it, it, I feel like it, the cartoon, that stuff is great. Don't get me wrong. When Mufasa died, that's fucked up. And that's made me sad. But. <laughs> As a real lion, I think that's even like not real, one, obviously, but it looks real. I think that'll get you more you into can, the the world. You and can the picture characters. a kid looking a out. Bit. You can picture a kid like looking at like a, a a fucking Discovery Channel movie now, seeing all the lions, and that's what they connected to now. 
Yeah. So you go, oh, it's Mufasa. Oh, no. Oh, he's pumping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it, it, it's, it's, biting, it's biting the bird. <laughs> oh, no. I, oh, God, he just eat that poor little rat. I don't know why there's a rat in Africa, but whatever. whatever. Just be, okay, we, even kids understand the difference that it's going to be realistic, so it's going to look more like what they actually know in real life and a cartoon, which is fantasy, but the reason why kids back in the day when they saw that movie and still to this day, the reason why they connected it so much was because the drawings were expressive of the emotions of the, of the emotions that made them feel sad or sure. scared or whatever. But that and was that's, a that's, cartoon. Yeah. When you do like a supposed live action remake, I don't buy it with this, but uh, it's supposed to be live action, but it's not really uh, because everything's CG. When you do it like with this, which by the way, we don't know if they they might. Try to and we're judging this movie stuff. a lot without uh, on the actually trailer. seen it. Well, we're, we're judging on the trailer, right? I mean, like in you the trailer, sure they don't we all do, know like, that. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I didn't see the movie yet. Uh, I didn't get no early access. Unlike Kyle, Kyle gets early access to everything. Um, he saw Pet Cemetery five years ago. <laughs> you know, um, but like, I'm assuming they're going for the more realistic thing to to get you everybody more into the story. Besides just because when you see a cartoon. Cartoons are usually known more for kids. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of cartoon movies that adults love. But when it comes to who the demographic is for when it comes to a cartoon like that, it's, it's for kids. You know, young kids. So when you see a realistic lion, a realistic whatever, everything, a bird, whatever, then it's, you know, it feels more like, oh, this is a movie for anybody. It, like, again, Lion King is for anybody. Lion King's a great movie. And do I think this movie's gonna be better? No, I don't think it is. I don't think the Jungle Book was better than the original. But um, uh, I love the original. I love the original Jungle Book. Um, that's an older one. His be- his ears got ears. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, I like King Louie in the original too. You know, but he's amazing. Movie. Okay, the I'm most the, of the swing boom. The, the most, most imaginative step. thing about these Disney remakes, like the most like holy shit, is what they did to King Louie in the uh, new oh, yeah. one. That's- not just because well, what, like what they did with Scar Walken in this movie. Scar in he the looks like Scar. Oh, he looks like a he real. Looks uh, sickly even and even he having looks... the small little personality thing of like the ear fucking twitching, like that adds yeah, a lot to it. But, that's a technical even, detail. But Scar in the original is he's not like this badass villain. He's kind of a, like a that, manipulator. You know what? That was and, the whole thing about uh, Scar. In this, it makes sense that he's all sickly and shit because he's like outcast. He's an he outcast. Looks like a, he looks all mangy, like he got accent yeah. out there, as opposed yeah, to that he actually has a scar. Which yeah, it's the original where he just looked darker. He was just different. Yeah, so I don't know. It adds, like, it, there's, a little, like there, there's those little flares, and if the movie actually follows through with that, that's gonna be cool to watch because that's just extra details that add to that. And also Pumbaa, like I said before, Pumbaa in the original, yeah, he's cute. I mean, yeah, whatever. Everyone Wait, wanted a plush. Like, everyone dude, wanted a plush. Pumba. No one wants a plush of. Right, Pumba. everyone wanted a plush Pumbaa because he's adorable, right? And this one, he, he looks, looks like a fucking cute. smelly motherfucker. Except they're except they're going to. Uh, yeah, and he's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> if they try to do a realistic plush, I mean, they might do cartoony for the plushes, um, which would kind of defeat the purpose. I get you, but uh, yeah, exactly <laughs> marketing it to adults and then making cartoony stuff. So, because your ex- explanation of why they made it realistic sounds like, oh, so it's for adults, but no, no, no it's, I, for, no, it's for everybody. I think no, no, no. I'm saying it's for everybody. No, we it, just you make it more. You take the Lion King, which everybody knows, even kids that are like. Eight or nine right now. They know what it is. They've heard of it somewhere. Uh, they might have even seen it, of course. Um, but you know what Lion King is, and you know what Disney is, and you see th- the thing, and you go, "Oh, there's a cute little cat in there." I mean, cats are cute. Real cats are cute. Is that true? Sure. Am I, am cartoon, I right? Cartoon baby cats can be. No, real cute. cat. Real. All right, baby cats is what I meant to say. Baby. Like, the first trailer, it showed <laughs> little Simba, and he was adorable. And I wanted to eat him. I'm hungry. <laughs> but, uh, no, I want a Subway sandwich. No, you want a Subway sandwich. <laughs> I know, I can see it. I can see those craving eyes. But, uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I think, oh. I think it works for both adults, especially adults that watched the original when they were kids, and kids nowadays, because kids will watch anything Disney. <laughs> I'll agree with you there. Watch I, I, I agree with you there that, you know, if you put Disney on it, kids will watch it. Except Dumbo. Nobody saw that. But, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Oops, they fucked up there. But uh, Dumbo is unnecessary. If you if you were complaining all about just Dumbo itself, I would agree with you, because Dumbo was fucking useless. <laughs> like it was, 
Dumbo was barely in I, the movie. I agree with I agree with the fact that we don't need every single movie to be recreated in CG. But I agree. There's, if, but if we were if able Dumbo to take was... right, if we were able to take like a small handful of classics and just reimagine them in CG in a different way, awesome. Now, in the next two years, we'll have like another Snow White. We're getting a fucking Robin Hood Disney anime one. Remember the Robin Hood cartoon? We're gonna, we're gonna get Chalk Zone and CG. Chalk Zone. That's not even a Disney thing. <laughs> nah, fuck it. Chalk. You know, I love to see a Chalk Zone. <laughs> that might be cool because it might add like 2D animation in there. That's another thing I was gonna say that they do still do 2D animation. They just do it in their 3D stuff. Like, they add low 2D. Like, Moana had some 2D animation in there with, like, his tattoos and stuff. But anyway, that's what I just want to say. So they still use 2D. It's just not... They don't make any... I, I guess they do cartoons that are 2D animated still, right? Like, uh, TV shows? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. He, I could tell he's over it. He's craving that subway. <laughs> Look at his we list. We still have to do uh, box office. No box Fuck. office. It's Saturday. I need to do a guest a minute. I, let's guess. Uh, let's uh, talk about how Hellboy did. Hellboy no, 2. All right. Hellboy supposedly is good. Hey, I could talk about what people are going. Where's my phone? Oh, shit. It's away. Uh, I'll just talk about what I read. Um, cause I don't want to use my computer. Uh, anyway, I read a couple articles that said Hellboy will probably make around 12 million this weekend, which is fucking atrocious. Cause even before this movie came out, people were saying like, oh, it's gonna do like 20 million. That's horrible. So now it's gonna do 12 million. That's way worse than fucking, uh, what people originally predicted for the movie. Um, so that's a bomb. But what really is a shame this weekend is that Missing Link is bombing really hard. And I really like uh, that. You know movie. what? So, I love Leica and I want them to keep making movies. I didn't movies. know that was Leica. I, uh, Leica. I thought, I, I know it doesn't look it, it looks more like an Ardman thing. Yeah, and I didn't know anything about that. And I, I saw the trailers for it. And I was like, oh, that looks cute. But I didn't really think of anything of it. And uh, I was thinking of another movie to watch this next week. And I was like, oh, yeah, let me check with the the, the Rotten Tomatoes on that. And oh. it was actually super high. I was like, oh, shit. Like so, a, yeah, like a dude. So I'll probably end up watching movie, that this week. I'll watch, I'll watch I just, it. It's just weird that they went from Kubo into Two String, which was definitely their most... Style. Yeah, but also their most dramatic. Uh, Coraline is their most dramatic. No, no, no. Kubo, Coraline it has a lot of creepy stuff in it, but I'm talking about like when it comes to the story itself, it's definitely Kubo is definitely more dramatic and more emotional. It's I, more dramatic, yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, it's more adult, I guess. Coraline is great. That's my second favorite one. Um, Coraline's amazing. By the way. It is. It is, it is amazing. I think Kubo. You know, Kubo and the Two Strings is like top five anime movies ever for me. I love that movie. But uh, I just, know, I was hoping they would continue making stuff like that, like Coraline and Kubo. But Missing Link is a great one. It, it is great. It's charming as fuck. I just wish. I hope this isn't the end for Leica because I know the budget was pretty big and it's fucking bombing hard. It's gonna be like five million this weekend, which is a shame. Oh, what's the budget? Wow. I think the budget usually their budget's around fifty, sixty million. Jeez. But the thing is that the producer is the the guy that directed Bumblebee, Travis Knight, I think his name is. Yeah, uh, Kubo director. But he his his father is the is the maker of what Nike, I think. Is it Nike or Reebok? Uh, so he's got his back. Yeah. He's got, that's that's why I think like is still around because they don't make money. I don't think they 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 I think sometimes they break even, but I think Kubo lost a lot of money. Um, yeah, they make definitely. they 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 have a lot of prestige though. They do. They, Kubo was nominated. It should have won. But uh, just saying, it was what nominated. What won instead? What won instead? Uh, Zootopia, I think. Pretty sure it was a t- Zootopia was great. Uh, I'm not even gonna complain, but whatever. I just said you are complaining. Yeah, Roach. I am. No, it should have won. I am complaining about that, but I'm not complaining that Zootopia won. Because if it was like Despicable Me three, then I would fucking choke somebody out. I would have killed Gru. Listen, found- if only they made Missing Link look like a real yeti then it would have been amazing if, if they made then it, it real, been, then it would yeah, have been so all the, all the young uh, all the adults that watched a missing link back in the 90s the original missing link that, that's a uh, they get <laughs> like what were you gonna say Jim? no i'm just look, i'm looking doing a bit. i'm looking no i'm looking it into his uh missing links is a bad name i think too yeah it is then yeah. also the other yeti movie came out recently uh, Smallfoot. There's another. By the way, I saw this movie. Yeah, there's another. There's a fucking another snowman movie, and that's <laughs> Yeti movie coming out. You know what? That, that's, that's probably. Yeah. 
that's probably why I also didn't think anything of it. I probably got missing link. Com- works, by the way, too. I got so missing was- link confused with Smallfoot. I think that's that's really sad. Yeah. Dreamworks. Well, Dreamworks had one good movie this year, at least. So. Really. <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon Three. Uh. So yeah. it's yeah. estimated that Missing Link makes ten million. No, that's no, extremely no. bad. It made one point six million yesterday. So there's no way in hell. Oh my god. It's gonna be four or five million. Maybe what? six. What? Yeah. Holy fuck, dude! This that weekend. Is really bad. It's really bad. I think I don't know how much I'll, the budget I'll is. I'll watch it my... this week. I'll do my. I'll do my part. Yeah. I can uh, go see in Spanish. Go give it. Yeah, go see in Spanish. He'll do his part. That's like twenty bucks right there. So there you go. No, it's gonna be like Ma- matinee, so like seven. Oh, okay, seventeen bucks. You'll probably see a matinee too. Yeah, fourteen. Oh fuck. Yeah, <laughs> go see it at a later time, so they'll cost more. Is that? Yeah, I'll, just, I'll use all my AMC tickets for it right later now. Later times cost more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you have extra AMC tickets that you don't need, just buy extra tickets for. Uh... Go. If you're gonna watch Hellboy, go buy a ticket for Missing Link and sneak into Hellboy. Because I assure you, nobody's gonna be in that theater for Hellboy anyway, so you don't need to worry about don't you don't need to worry about signed seating or anything. So just go in there and uh, chill. For out. either of them, yeah. One thing, can I say one thing? Uh, I went to see Hellboy today, and uh, they oh. only have assigned seating for IMAX showings. Wow. I mean, they're all shitty, like the recliner chairs. I mean, not recliner chairs. The regular, like, theater chairs that you're accustomed to, I guess. Uh, okay. Not the recliners, but, you know, the fold-out ones. Um, but they still have assigned seating, which is annoying. But anyway, only for IMAX theaters. I went, I, I was going in there. I forgot what my seat was. And I was like, okay, let me see what my uh, seat number is. AMC, for some reason now, I guess maybe it's the ticket taker's fault, but they ripped the part of the ticket and keep the part of the ticket that says what my seat is, and oh, they keep that. That must be yours. I guess it was mine, or they fucked up and they gave me the wrong part of the ticket. Because um, they both look similar, but one part has my seat number. So I was like, oh, what's my seat number? I was like, oh, fuck. Uh, so <laughs> I went in there, I was like, please don't be packed, because then I'll be like, what the fuck? I don't know where you my seat is. Can you pull your phone and look at the seat ticket on there? Yeah, yeah, it's on the MC app. Oh, is it on the MC app? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit. Well, it was it wasn't packed, so I didn't do that. Stupid, but, uh, silly, dumb. I thought once you buy it, it just erases it. Like, no. like, like, it, just like it, it still it saves it, it, that's it. It saves the history of it, so it should kind of. Uh, I never had to go back in there. That's why. You, usually, usually when I'm done, do you usually pick the same like? Who wants to buy a ticket without the AMC and they rip it out? What the fuck could you do? Like, like, how are you gonna claim your seat? Well, I assume you have they. No pr- I assume they 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 set this. Uh, you have to forget it within the span of like three minutes. I forgot it in the span of three minutes. <laughs> it's because uh, it's like it's like a, it's like a G and then fourteen or some shit. I think that was my seat, but I didn't know. You don't you uh, don't, you don't pick the same seat usually. No, because sometimes they're uh, taken. Because I, I like to take the ones that are obvious for IMAX. Like yeah, perfect. I'm, I'm looking at my history right now. It still tells me like what seat specifically I said. So I just took the one I thought I had, and I, I'm pretty sure I got it wrong. And uh, I was hoping just people wouldn't come and like there was fifteen people. <laughs> <laughs> but if it was like Avengers, <laughs> that would be fucked. But I mean, I guess if it's on IMAX, did the, you I mean, uh, see a uh, thing? Then it's did, fine. You, did you figure out your Avengers situation with that that Sunday? Yeah, I just canceled the ticket. Wait, what? Yeah, well, I forgot. I forgot Game of Thrones is on Sunday. I for, I completely forgot, and I I bought a ticket for Avengers at like six thirty, and it would have. It's like a fifteen hour movie. You seeing it on Thursday? I no, I'm still. Chris is seeing it three times that weekend, man. Okay. Yeah. I hope it's good. <laughs> 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 Dude, He's I need I need to book my other tickets. I got I got my my Thursday and my Friday. Hey uh, hey, Kyle, I like movies. I'm sorry you don't. When you have to. Yeah, go ahead, say it. I have my I have my one ticket that I'm going to use. That's all I need. Well, why don't you buy another one? Because I'm not a cuck. I don't know what that has. Uh, I'm not watching Avengers fuck my wife. <laughs> <laughs> but you Pop would. Gun. Yeah, sure. But I'm not I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's, I'm not watching Thanos ram his 14-inch dick down. Uh, my you don't know that. But, huh? Spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, is that how, that's how he beats uh, Ant-Man. <laughs> Ant-Man gets big and he just like... You know, he takes his giant 14 feet dick. It's just like, bend over, giant man. He's like, oh, my booty. Wait, who? Giant man. 
Giant who? Giant man. It's too. It's too late for this. I'm talking about Thanos. Fucking no. Ant Man. <laughs> It's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Adrian, <laughs> what did you see recently? We already did this. <laughs> That's actually it for the podcast. Uh, what? So for going forward for the next few weeks, since we're recording this on Saturday, we're cutting the box office parts, kind of like right now. So we did the box office. No, part. but going forward, like why next week? We do the box office, but just do estimates. Well, that yeah. that was interesting. Silly that goose. Was, uh, we'll see how everything is in the week coming. <laughs> I get myself. I need my room right now is like 85 degrees. <laughs> oh my god, oh, that's pretty hot. And I got like four lights on shining on me right now, so that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I don't want to see you give birth. Can you stop? Yeah. I... Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, Why could you fell? That would've been great. I'm not gonna do that. All right. You can find me on Twitter at Depunked. You can find Gore at Gore the Movie God. You can find Kyle at Kyle in 20... Was it 25 or 26? What is it now? 25. 25, 25 frames per second. doesn't make F- sense anymore. FPS. Uh, uh, yeah, 24, but uh, Twitter said he was too young to have that account, so they kicked him off. Because who knew yep. that kid younger than 13 would be on Twitter? Sweet and spicy, honey. 880? Eight, eight, oh, barbecue. 